What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. Today on the table, Rob, Melanie, and we brought Justin back. We didn't we didn't fire him. He's back. Yeah, yeah. He's been rehired. Uh, yeah, he came down. He's here for the weekend. I was saying he hopefully would, and he's here. And we're going to introduce him to Too Many Bones Undertow. So if you have never seen Too Many Bones or Too Many Bones Undertow, the standalone expansion, uh, this is a good time to check it out because uh, we'll be explaining to him the differences yeah. with base Too Many Bones, which he's played a whole bunch of. Mm. Uh, we have done a series on the channel playing through um, Age of Tyranny, the campaign expansion for the Too Many Bones base set. He has played through many three-player Too Many Bones sessions with the original Tyrants, everything from the core set. He's still running a gear lock from the course. He's playing with Tantrum today uh, because we still haven't got our order from Chip Theory on Black Friday, who had some delays. So we haven't got Gasket yet. We were going to try to get him to play with Gasket, who is a gear lock that was released around the time and designed with Undertow. We were hoping to have through all Undertow all day, every day kind of thing. But nope, we're going to mix in Tantrum. Mm. I'm playing Duster. Mel's playing Stanza. Yep. And we're going to go against Barnacle. We're going to introduce Undertow and why not do it with the first tyrant that usually is in the campaign they tell you to play with so i figured he's like the one you should start with yeah. um so we're gonna play with him um yeah so uh i just want to give a shout out to our patreon backers everyone that donates to the channel without you guys this wouldn't be possible thanks everyone that donated to our fundraiser to get too many bones undertow on the channel we appreciate that um but yeah I think we're good to get set up. We'll just maybe wait a couple of seconds while people get here. But I do have, uh, I pre-set up the loot. I set up our day tracker, everything before we started. We have Barnacle here. He's got his um, die and his chips ready. I'll explain how he works. And it's funny, the other side of the adventure mat, this is uh, on the other side of our uh, the oh. normal one we play on. We're actually, we're in Undertow, which is still starting at Obendar, the castle where the people are. But we're heading south now. Oh. So Undertow takes place, all the tyrants and everything. And the story take place on you traveling south. Oh, better. And there is like an, uh, the break, which is like a snowy place. That's where like the big boss guy's hiding. There's a dragon that hides at Elder Point. Oh, There's the octopus guy, a barnacle who's in Deadlock Bay. There is another gorilla type guy who's up in Holloway Forest. And over here is the Goblin Queen, the Goblin King's wife, uh, who is real you, would, you would see, I, I guess, totem call. But we're heading down the Cibron River. And that explains why we use, uh, we could be riding a raft or we could be running along the shore on land. Nice, nice, nice. So that's the kind of deal with Undertow. And there's more detailed stuff which we'll deal with as we get to each one of the, um, each one of the encounters, uh, we'll deal with it. But if you guys are in the chat, say hi, let us know if there's any sound issues or anything, anyone's mics are kind of off or anything like that or volume levels. Let us know if you're watching live, if you're watching this in the future, thank you for watching. Uh, make sure you hit that like button. And if you don't wanna miss when we go live next time, if you're not here live now, uh, hit that subscribe button, and then also hit that notification bell so you don't miss notifications in your YouTube app or whatever uh, when we go live. Mm. Uh, but yeah, if you have any questions about this game at all, uh, let us know in the comments, uh, or sorry, in the, yeah, in the comments oh. later, <laughs> but in the chat if you're watching live, and uh, we'll try to answer them. Um, so let's get down to the table here. And get a better shot of what's going on. Uh, but yeah, looks all right. Mm -hmm. I'm good to go. You're good to go? Almost. All right. So let's talk about Barnacle. So Barnacle, this guy, we have to beat him in eight days. Eight game days, and we can do it in five progress points. The baddie types in Undertow are only included scales, Beasts and, and um, goblins, I believe is it, goblins, the mischief guys. Mm. Those are the three types in here. There's no bog type, no poison guys. There's poison, but there's not the whole sweet break guys and all that stuff. But the difference is, uh, so there's smaller cues. This is literally all the baddies you get in the whole set. This is a smaller, meant to be a smaller, cheaper entry point, less expensive entry point into too many bones. So mm -hmm. it only comes with two gear locks, not the four like the base set. And it comes with less baddie types, but it also has its own three-point baddies, the mechs, which use the outside lanes here on the <sighs> land. They're little robots, so you can't bleed them, you can't poison them, you can't, they don't take true damage from fatigue. So they can they can just keep going. They outlast and you. And they even have a skill that if they roll a bones on their backup plan, it's called disruption, can send us on the next round, even if it's round one and they roll a bone, can send us into Fatigue rounds. Uh, where they don't <laughs> lose health from that, but we do. Yeah. So say say they do that and we, we destroy them. Does it go back to round no. two? Nope. No. The timer's you on, just man. Need to hurry. 
So they, they're they they're messy. These guys are pretty crazy. They're, they're robots. That's okay. their deal. Then we have the crown, who are the other three-point baddies. There's only five of each type. You'll get used to them, their hit points and what their kind of attack is and stuff. But the crown, they basically come on the side of the raft and they can uh, break the raft on the raft side. And if there's ever uh, all four breakage ships out and it goes to apply a fifth one, we lose. Oh, Battle's lost. The other difference in Undertow, a little rule adjustment. If we're ever in fatigue rounds, I always forget this. I never do it in my playthroughs because I never think about it. I remember it at the start of the playthrough. Never remember it when it actually applies. But once it flips the fatigues, every unit on the battle mat, including baddies and us, can move diagonal. Oh, okay. To speed it up. It also helps you run around if we need to clear wreckage ships or anything Don't like worry. that. I'll remember. <laughs> uh, in certain scenarios. Nice. Okay. Um, but yeah. Uh, so... Barnacle's game length, one out of six. Uh, his story text here is, Little is known about those dwelling in Daylor's aquatic depths. Murmurs of Barnacle's existence linger over every sea, river, and ocean. Of course, these tales are often soaked in ale at the local tavern, making the rumors that Barnacle is protecting something of great value difficult to confirm or deny. So, what we're working towards, Justin, this is our final battle. It's called the Tidal Bout. So it'll be on the water side. You'll place tentacles one through four in Krellin's starting positions. So those are random. Anytime a, a mech or a crown come onto the battle mat, they don't just fill up lanes one, two, three, and four. We roll a die for each one of them, and that will tell us which spot they're going in. Oh. So you can't even predict when you're like prepping to set up a battle. Well, that makes it a little bit different. Yeah. Yeah. And the the crown also have a um, a skill that uh, called submerge. Normally, when they move, they move one spot. They'll just move to the next next spot. So uh, mechs, they move on land like normal. They'll just start in one of these positions, but then they'll move on land and they're fine. Uh, but on the raft side, the crown don't leave the water. But what they do is if there's nobody to attack on one side, they'll go to the next number up. So if he's on two, he'll go to three and try to attack what is over there. Uh -huh. But some of them have submerged where every time they go to move, they roll that die. So you have no idea if they're going to stay where they are, move on a random spot. Yeah, it's pretty nuts. It's we'll, we'll, we'll explain it more in detail and you'll see it work when we're actually in those encounters. But for sure, we may not see a water encounter. This has happened with Mel and yeah. I, where we've played through a whole playthrough and we never saw a single water encounter. We have seen options where you pick water or land, and we always chose the land, I guess, because it seemed easier at the time or had better loot or whatever. But for sure in this one, in the final battle, mm. it will be in the water. So you will get a taste of the crown. I can't swim, bro. Yes. <laughs> and if you fall in the water, you have to spend an extra dex to get out. Not just the dex to move out. You have to spend an extra two. dex. You can't do anything on your turn until you get out of the water. Two, two dex to move. Two dex to get out, basically. Yeah, to get out. Uh, decks. It's also extra decks to move on to uh, wreckage spots, too. All right, so it says uh, place one to four in starting positions, and then a party of three for us, you add tentacles five to seven to the queue. So we have one through seven tentacles here under Barnacle, uh, ready to go Yeah. for that battle later. And then we add Barnacle to the bottom of the queue. So we start fighting tentacles before we even see him. Then it says tentacles after, added after round one are placed on the bottom of the enemy meter, and Barnacle moves to the top. Tentacles do not roll tyrant dice. So you nice. don't really need to see his tyrant die until he's actually on the mat. His only skill he has is to the deep. At the end of each round, if Barnacle, Barnacle is on the battle mat, and there are still tentacles in the battle queue, Barnacle will leave the battle to the bottom of the battle queue, resetting his HP, and will not re-enter the battle for the next round. Oh, man. Uh, so there's a whole, like, could go on forever if he keeps jumping. And then the whole thing with his tyrant die is recuperate. He can withdraw an injured tentacle from the battle mat, placing it back in the battle queue. So that's how, that's he, how, he, can... that's how he cycles yeah. them back and forth. Uh, he also has tentacle wrap. Uh, target the strongest opposing adjacent unit to a tentacle. So as long as there's one tentacle out, this will apply. The, the closest person can be all the way across the mat, Still and that, that tentacle will yeah. grab you, the strongest unit, uh, opposing unit. So it's going to be one of us, yeah. or, or it could be a uh, nightshade, yep. uh, uh, my wolf. Uh, target the strongest opposing unit to a tentacle, not to barnacle, to a tentacle. Uh, place that target on any available starting crown position player's choice. So it pulls you in the water, but you cho choose where you want to go. So you could use it to your advantage to get on the other side of the mat or something and, and go to where the baddies are with saving you some decks, kind of. Horrible. Still but, horrible. But you have to use decks to get out of the water, so it's like, and you might get stuck. And you can get stuck where you can't move out of the water. If you're in the water and there's like two things here, you can't get out, you just sit there and like you're, you're, you're screwed. Useless. You're useless. You can't yeah. do anything. Nice. At least that's my understanding. Uh, no, seems, yeah, because you can't do anything when you're in the that water. That seems right. Yeah. That seems right. I'm pretty sure. But we'll deal with that if it comes up. Anyways, that's the title belt. That's what we're working towards. That's Barnacle. Dirty old octopus. Uh, and five progress points we need. And eight days to do it in. So we got a nice little three-ish day buffer there to do it in. So uh, hopefully that's helpful. 
Um, yeah. Sorry, just one second. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we are going to. Um, what are we going to do here? Let's do. Um, we are going to play on Heroic Adventurer. Or should we? Mm. Let us know in the chat what you guys think. Should we play on medium difficulty or the normal hard? The usual way the game should be played where there's a chance we could lose. And uh, there's always a chance you could lose. Uh, but make it a little tough for us. Can we play it on medium for certain people and easy for others? Uh, we're never going to play on easy. Or not easy, medium. That is two medium. health points medium. and a training point And you never lose your lock dice when you die. I have never played on that. I do not want to play on that. Medium. Ever. Sorry. Medium is an extra like, health and a training point. Could you and I play on legendary and he be new to Undertow play on No, I, you know what I say? I say we play on legendary because it's Barnacle. He's not the toughest, I don't think. And it's more fun. Uh, <laughs> we maybe not play with the most <laughs> secured group of gear locks that all work well together. But it's part of the fun. That's okay. Yeah. And if we just lose out in the first few days, we clean up and start it over. Exactly. No big deal. It's not I'm, the longest tyrant. It's only five progress points. My mom always told me I'm legendary, so... Oh, that's oh, nice. That's sweet. Oh, that's sweet. Okay. <laughs> that's rock. All right. So, okay, uh, legendary it is. I'm a legend in my own way. <laughs> we'll find out. All right, so we are going to continue on here. Uh, so let's just play with what we got. Day and one? day one. Yep, the counter. Day counter here is on day one. Uh, we're going to go to her first encounter. Okay. We're going to read the story text off it. Special encounter Tool, Tools of the Trader. At last. Oh, and also in uh, another different thing. You don't see this because I set it up before we started. Um, in Undertow, since they learned from the first set, only giving you day one, two, and three that are static. Yeah, yeah. And then eventually they fixed it with Age of Tyranny, giving you seven different day ones and day twos and day threes. Mm. This just comes with day one and day two. Oh. But four of each you can choose from randomly. So I randomly got a day one and a day two. So we play, actually normally we would say eight days, we take away three, and then, so that would be five. But we only take away two. So there's six general encounters in there from Undertow. Two Barnacle Tyrant encounters. And two day ones to start. Two barnacle again? Yeah, oh. but I don't think it's that bad. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. I don't think I've ever lost against Barnacle. It's himself. Never I've, I've lost encounters on the run yeah. to Barnacle playing on Legendary. We, but brought, we brought somebody else, so who knows how this will play through. Both three player <laughs> is not as hard as two and one player. No. That is for sure. That's why I see a lot of people say online, but we'll see. Can Justin carry his weight? We'll find out. Yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> All right. So tools of the trader. At last, daylight. It appears that there are others who know about the escape route via the sewer. A lone, frantic Molnar trader sprints past at a good pace, while the city guards have turned and are now in hot pursuit. This means any remaining cover is blown as well. Escape should be easy enough, but the question is whether to take that poor sap along. She's dropping plenty of loot behind her as she flees. Oh, loot. And she should distract the guards enough for an escape, but helping her could pay off with some good fortune down the line. Ooh. All right. So options here, guys, are land or land. That's the little symbol in the top left. If it's the green with the trees, it's the land. If it's blue with some waves, it's it's um, water. So our options are both peaceful. It's day one. That makes sense. Let's give her some assistance. While her loot must be left behind, you help her escape to the tree line. She promises to spread word of your kindness to her fellow traders. So this would let us, uh, gives us no extra bonus, but would shuffle Special Encounter, Molnor Adventure Reference Guide into the ex uh, Encounter deck. And by the way, there's a whole bunch of new Special oh. Encounters on the side. There's even like a side mission tree one that could lead to multiple encounters just on the same day. It's kind of neat. Um, and then the next option is Meh, Haste Makes Waste. Uh, after grabbing a couple of goods that she dropped making a sh and making a short sprint, the tree line is in sight. The Molnor trader is quickly apprehended. Slow down by her supplies and cumbersome cloak. Hopefully, justice is served. So this one would shuffle a special encounter, a mountain out of a Molnor hill, <laughs> into the encounter deck. But this one you get Trove Loot, but I think it puts a worse encounter. And I'm not sure I've ever had to deal with mountain or a Molnor hill. I just know it's been shuffled in the deck. I don't think I've ever had to come across it. But I assume it's the worst option out of the two. Obviously, if you help the Molnor, you get a better one shuffled into your deck. I know, but the chances of getting it... But we could not. each get a Trove Loot. I know, a Trove Loot is great. Did we get a block pick a temp right away? We would, be in, yes, in the recovery phase. Yeah, yes. you want to take the risk? Yeah, of course. <laughs> All right. So I'm down. Does the chance, like, how many you said there are like eight or nine cards in there, and the chance of getting that one? Ah, yes. Man, I don't know. So, uh, so that's our option. So we're going to shuffle Special Encounter uh, Mountain. Mountain. Oh. 
A mountain out of a Molnor Hill is going to get shuffled in, so we'll take off the day two encounter. Yeah, and just, nah. let's all look away while I do some shuffling. So we have no idea when our tyrant encounters are coming. Shuffling, shuffling. Or when mountain or a Molnor Hill is going to happen. And, okay. Uh, where's the top? Hopefully that's it. Yep. Okay. Okay, so that's shuffled in. Uh, we each get a trove of loot. Here's a trove of loot. Here's a trove of loot. Here's a trove of loot. Oh, mine's easy. I have a four two two. What do you got? A one two four. I got a one two four. Yeah, five three two. All right, so yours might be good. My, <laughs> My chest is big. No, I'm just joking. Your chest is big. Okay, so you got better stuff. I'm just joking. We don't know what's behind <laughs> this it. This is what we how we judge. I have only seen probably like two or three trove loots in this undertow so far because I barely get them, and when I do, maybe not even get them unlocked. And the ones I've got unlocked, there was a cool one I've gotten twice. Same one? It is some mech armor thing you get, and it gives you like a one point back a plan option that you could use to damage anybody on the map. Oh. Heal, I think heal yourself or any gear lock for one HP. It might be just yourself. And then there's something else on it. But they are all amazing, and they just make your back of plan so much better. Oh. Okay. Uh, so anyways, we got that. That's part of the reward phase here. Uh, also, we're going to get a, our first progress. We're traveling down from Omidar here to our first point. We need to get to five. Nice. Uh, but we all get a training point. So this is our first training point, guys. We're not going to get as many as we normally get playing on medium difficulty heroic adventurer. So use them wisely. Uh, you already know what you're doing? I'm yeah. taking a health. Yeah, I'm taking a health. <laughs> I'm taking a attack. And it's good. Are you going to attempt to train for a new attack stat? No, I just was knowing it was going to happen. Yeah, so right. I was... Okay. <laughs> Buell Richardson is here. I hope my connection doesn't mess up so I can watch the playthrough live. Oh, well, our fingers are crossed for you. Don't lose connection. I'm crossing I, I hope it doesn't matter. Are you watching on like a cell phone in, under, in a tunnel? Are you hiding <laughs> under a bridge right now? I'm going to cross some territory. Are you on a plane? Are you on a plane watching? Oh, well, please don't. <laughs> That'd be awesome. But yeah. Thank you for watching. We, we pray good connections to you, sir. <laughs> Thank you for watching. It is the time of good connections. <laughs> All right. But okay. yes, of course, anyone watching, you can totally leave whenever. Come back, drop in whenever. We'll be having fun here. And it will always be available later on YouTube to watch. Mm hmm I'm on a cell phone at work. Oh, oh. <laughs> nice. Plug it in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah. We won't tell your boss. Yeah, don't connect to your work Wi-Fi. <laughs> we don't want to be responsible for you getting in trouble oh, at work. We got and Miguel, Miguel G. G, thank you for subscribing. Thank you so much. much appreciated. Thank you for the support. Okay, so uh, let's continue on here. We are going to go with uh, rest and recovery. Rest please. and recovery. Yeah. So I want to start trying to pop open some trove loot. Did you take your extra health? Just to... uh, I did, yes. So, uh, Duster, I'm up to four health. Under Duster, Nightshade is... So, Justin, just so you know, and anyone who doesn't know how Duster works, uh, she has a little pet wolf. And this is Nightshade. He basically, uh, or she, I'm not sure if it's a guy or girl, but it's pink. They're all pink chips here, so who knows. Um, it will uh, enter the mat if ever at the end of a round, Duster is not at full health. Hmm. Nightshade will come out and try to help her owner, protect her owner, and it comes out at two health and two attack. But there is a dice path here, a little little skill tree that she can actually get more health, more attack, get kind of a lash back. And the lash back even works when she's get hit and dies. She lashed back on that last turn. Nice. She can get an ability to basically. Um, she has like two little dice which work like skills that you can level up and get her more lash back hits, or even an ability to basically attack uh, and absorb absorb um health from mm. whatever damage she does to an enemy she absorbs that back in healing sweet uh but there's an option you can pick on a die to go either that way or this way where you can just give her more attack dice and then the other one's about raising your health and there is a way to use you normally use your training points to level her up or you there's a die you can roll in battle to try to get a free training point to upgrade her dice nice uh and then there's also a promise of prey which you can put on a baddie it's a times two so you put it in a lock slot you store it and whenever Duster or Nightshade is on the mat, you can uh, put it on any baddie on the mat. It's kind of like putting a hit on their head. Where the next attack by Duster on that baddie, and Duster will automatically on her turn jump to that baddie hmm. to an empty adjacent space and then attack for times two whatever damage she rolls. So she rolls two attack dice by default. If you're ever at not at full health starting the battle, she will start and she has her own any die, which I should have actually had already in my mat. Uh, that you roll, and it's a three or six, 50 50 chance, and she could start. First or last. She could bad. start on the mat with us at the start. That's amazing. So that's how Nightshade works um, with Duster. And she has a whole bunch of backup plans that are like uh, pack mentality, where if they're both on the mat, 
You can spend a bone to move one or the other beside the other, anywhere on the mat. Backstab, uh, if an, a baddie is adjacent to both of them, you can then add two extra damage to that baddie. The problem is most of these uh, backup plans, and it's my complaint, is uh, <laughs> hindsight's back and his messages are getting blocked because he's swearing in the chat here, <laughs> so I have to show it here. <laughs> And Miguel says, thanks for the playthrough. Now I want to go play instead of watching. Oh. That is okay. <laughs> That's okay. You we'll go play. Here. You go play. <laughs> we'll be here. And it'll be later. Later you can watch it on YouTube. So yeah, no yeah. offense if you can't hang out with us. <laughs> or you can wait until we're done. And then you can go play. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> no, if you want to play, play is priority. I would, I would definitely advocate for playing board games over watching uh, us jokers play board games. Um, but anyways, thank you for being here, Miguel. And hindsight's back. Thank you for... Thanks for dropping in. <laughs> TMB is so um, fudging good, he says in the somebody, chat. <laughs> uh, well, somebody has to say it. Yeah, yeah true. It is, <laughs> I agree. He speaks the truth. Yeah. Um, so that's that's a Duster's thing is the backup plans kind of have to have the wolf in play. So it kind of sucks when I get bones. I have no way of like healing. Like We always compare it to Nugget. Nugget has ways of like healing herself, doing extra damage. She has kind of like the doing extra damage and stuff and being flexible. But you have to have Nightshade on the mat with her. So it's like, or otherwise she basically has no three backup planes on the three bones. Right. Cry Wolf um, is interesting. It is a way you can get Nightshade out quicker where you take two true damage automatically and then you put an untargetable die on you for a turn. But it's a way to kind of, if she's not in play yet, to kind of force yourself to lose. Uh, or if you just need to, like, you're near the end of a battle and you still have some health. You lose that two true damage, and then you become untargetable, and then you can still like kind of maybe survive. But playing solo, it's tough. Usually by the end of the battle, when I'm in trouble, I can't take two true damage, or I'm dead. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's like even it, two player was the same. Yeah, they're very situational, not flexible. But I do have the four bone fortune discovery, so I could get uh, scrag roots, which helps me get more bones, and blade dip, which is kind of like a way to dip my knife, my attack dice into poison before throwing them. So it's a little risky, but we'll see if I ever get that stuff. But anyways, that's that's a little duster. I like it. And, and sometimes we probably want him to take one damage at the beginning, right? So you can get... Yeah, sometimes I might out. go into recovery so, with one less health and purposely not heal yeah, up. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. It's a balance. Right? Yeah. And the other mini game I have to play is in the recovery phase, I have to pick to heal only one or the other if I choose that option. I can't heal both, but there is a die that I can roll to give health to one or the other. Even any gear lock, I think I can use to heal others too. Cool. So... We'll see how Duster works more in a multiplayer setting here, because in solo, she is a little rough. Uh, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> or maybe I just suck with her, but uh, yeah, we've had some hit or misses on the channel, but if you guys want to see other Too Many Bones playthroughs, go check out Rob's Gaming Table. There's playlists where we've played Undertow, regular Too Many Bones, solo, two-player, three-player, Age of Tyranny campaigns, more to come on the channel. Make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for that stuff. Uh, all right, self-promotion over. All right, so we're in recovery. Let's start looking for some Trove loot, uh, unlocking it, I mean. I'll start us off here. I'll just start trying on my trove loot. Unless we want to just kind of work on some of these and get them open. Well, we'll see how far you get. Because it's better that have somebody at least have an open trove loot rather than all of us having like half unlocked trove loot. Well, why don't you try yours and we'll see what happens from okay. yours and then we'll sure. decide. Yeah. Because okay. 422, you might be able to open that by yeah. yourself. So four lever is what I'm looking for here. Uh, 2L. So I do have it there if I want it because I can convert one of these 3F or 3T but the problem is that's using two dice to get that first one open, and then I'm only rolling one more uh, for the trip. As long as you get the trip with the re-roll, or the trip, yeah. There is a possibility to get it on this trip die if I keep it, because I just need two, and there is a two-four side on yeah, it, too. Yeah. So I'll, I'll just do it. I'll I apply so. this. I won't do a retry. So I'll convert the 3F to a 3L. So I have 5L. That unlocks it. And we use little gold coins, because I'm not playing the whole game of trying to line this up to stupid little dots there on the mat. Uh, so we're just going to slap a gold down to show one lock has been unlocked on our uh, trove loot. Um, and then, so these two dice were applied, so they're exhausted. So now I roll the intuition die with just the trip. And I'm only looking for two trip. Boom. And I got three, three trip. trip. So I didn't get the plus one in the save, which would have been perfect. I could have carried it forward. But whatever. I've opened two locks on mine. We're good. So I think you should try yours. Cause yours yeah, well, we get, it's still early. Because yours is pretty... Good, like yeah, one, it's, it's two. only day one. So and then you'll try maybe his. Whoever's uh, no, no, we'll just keep. It's so early. I was just saying, yeah. always have to think like that. Nah, Sometimes we never. I'm think probably like that. gonna try and open one of yours because my five. five I probably my five. yeah, but you get two chances on it. I think. But whenever be. someone is down to still having trouble with theirs, we have three people to keep trying on it, mm -hmm. which is good. Mm -hmm. So, anyways. Okay, I'll try for mine. So I'm looking for one L. And I got three L, three L on the trip dice. 
but the trip die, I only need two, so that's fine. But you can convert, can't you? Uh, uh, okay, so what are you trying to do? Uh, one, one lever? Yeah, can we're you, just trying to find the most efficient yeah, so you could, way. Uh, so the lever die is actually this brown one, so you could just convert that, and that's exhausted, and then you start going for your trip and your force using the trip okay, and force Okay, yeah, die. sure, I'll do that. So I'll exhaust that one if I can have a gold yep. coin, please. Then I am... One gold dragon, ma'am. Thank you. Then I am looking for uh, two trip. Uh, you didn't get it, but that's a trip it. die, so you can re-roll that die. Okay. Yeah. And there it and is. Three it. trip, and the best plus part one. is plus one and save, so you turn it into a four. You apply it, so you get another gold coin. Okay. And, and you unlock, but you get to actually keep that with your next roll because now, you had the save. Sweet. Sounds good. Now I'm looking for four F. Come on. Four, four Fs. Fs. Uh, okay, so, so you didn't get any, uh, and you're kind of stuck because you can only add plus one and save. So none what? of them can apply, so you're done. What? Oh, but... No. There's no oh, reroll there's there. No, oh, there's no reroll. Yeah, yeah, nope. yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. The plus one is save, like, plus one, apply it to the lock yeah, and bring thinking. it forward. But you would know you didn't unlock so the So the question lock. is, I have two rolls. Well, no. no. So I can work... No, so I'll say, if I work on yours and I get yours, can I... On you... the first roll, could I work on this one, the second roll? No. no. Just wondering. No. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to try and open Rob's. I'm going to try and open one. Two fours? Two fours. Yeah. Sure, you don't want to try for your five? No. Not yet. Well, he's going to roll. Or do you want to open her four? He's going to roll five L, though. No, no. Yeah, what, yeah. Whatever. What is so that? You're trying, you're trying on two fours? Four yeah, fours yeah. or two, two fours. fours? Two fours. So there's two, two fours, fours right there. You got Let's it. just do it. Yeah. Let's open it. Did you get. Wait, hold on. What are you looking for on yours? Five L? Five yeah. L. Yeah. Got, so you would have failed on the first one. But you could have kept rolling something and maybe. That's okay. Let's open it. I want to see at least one of these. Yeah. And then we'll work on yours next. Yeah, yeah. So we got a fog machine. Nice. Permanent. Yeah. Backup plane extension for two bones. Reduce your target's initiative up to, by up to two spots on the inny meter. Adjust at end of round. Nice. The flavor text says, this is cool, but where are the lasers and the lights? <laughs> <And> stands up. <laughs> so that's cool. So I have, a, I have an actual... It's good, I think, for her when she doesn't have the wolf in play to have some kind of backup plane extension. Mm. That's <laughs> useful. So. Uh, but yeah, so we're done the uh, lock picking attempts. Sweet mm -hmm. recovery. One. Obviously, don't need to heal. We can scout. You can look for better sure. loot. Uh, but I'm going to scout. So five. I can look up to a five pointer. I will. Uh, so this is a dragon grounder. He has seven health, three attack, two defense. He has weakened two automatically, so he'll force you to have two less decks on your turn. And he's melee. He's a big beastie boy, and I know there are two in that damn little stack right here. And this whole little stack of fivers, there is two of these buggers. It sounds already horrible with seven health and weakened two. <laughs> well, yeah, when you're only attacking with one attack down, yeah. maybe so or two. So because it's early, I don't want him to be our first five-pointer, I think. Yeah, I hate the weekend when you have way less decks. So I am throwing him to the back. Okay. But just letting you know, there's another one that could... I've done that before, and then the next guy I get is that one. So you get a one-pointer. So, I got a chimp acrobat. So here's Ooh, something new. That uh, sounds fun. Yeah. So the beasts in this one are funny. They're like all monkeys and stuff oh, cool. that have blind strike. Blind strike, what that does is before they move, they literally do one damage to the strongest adjacent unit. It's just like they blindly swing. Unit. Yes. So it could be hitting their own guys. I like it. Yeah, if you or it could it be up. hitting us, whoever the strongest is beside them. And then they have dodge. And this is horrible. Dodge, they cannot be damaged. By white attack dice. You have to hit them. Skill dice. With skill dice or wait till fatigues and hope they just die out that way. Or do blind strike to each other. No, no, blind strike won't work because it's... Yeah, blind strike would work because it's just one straight damage. Yeah. But any rolling attack, white attack dice, do not hurt them at all. <laughs> He's only two health. So... But dang. they could be super annoying. I should use picket. <laughs> yeah, let's put him at the bottom because we don't have any way to attack. The I other thing I want to get right to, now. sorry, the other thing with beasts... The, you know the way orcs in the first one have that whole rating where they do one extra dice for every other orc on the board? Raging, yeah. The beasts have a whole thing called, I forget what it's called, but uh, someone in the chat might remind me, but they have this thing that triggers uh, a skill that if the guy has it, he triggers it, and all other beasts on the board roll one attack die against their targets if they're beside them. They just, just roll an attack die. So if you're surrounded by a couple beasts and there's one of those guys on the board doing that with all the beasts... They all basically attack, and then they still get their turn after. But they just attack for one. It's, it's just, annoying. It's just going to beat you up. Uh, do all the loot and trove loot from Undertow work with the base game? Technically, I've heard, yes, it does. There's people that just mix all the loot together and say don't care. But some of the loot and trove loot very specifically works. I've seen some that works okay, but obviously has an advantage if you're fighting against mechs or Kreln. If you're playing in the base game and you're not playing with mechs or Kreln encounters, 
though that loot will suck and i've also heard from some people these are just five or six or seven loot or trove loot or something that are very specific like that that they just take out of the deck when they're playing with the core set so you can you can judge and mix it as you want but yes a lot of it will work with the base set and it's totally fine but if you get something that doesn't work you could throw it away for better loot that is the whole reason they make that better loot uh option in the recovery phase yeah. is not all loot is created equal this is from i've seen adam say that in the discord chat it said not all loot's created equal and that's why they have that mechanic in there so that yes you will draw loot that yeah okay we're not playing with crown and it works in undertow even Maybe we don't get any encounters fighting Crown, so we're holding on to some loot that hurts Crown, and is maybe not as useful. Yeah, toss it and look for better loot. That's why that mechanic gets there, right? So you could just play with that, put in that loot, and even if it's junk, you draw it, you got to look for better loot. That's just the way it is. Or hold on to it, and there's certain encounters that force you to give up loot or lose loot. You hold it for that, and then just lose it. No big deal. Um, but yes, yeah, so you can mix it all technically, but it's just kind of weird uh, and for story and stuff. Um, but what do you want to do with this guy, the chimp acrobat? I think I'm going to put him on the bottom since we do Really? Not. Well, we don't have a way to kill yeah, him true. right now. What do you mean? Well, how you how many health did he have? Two, but we can't kill him with a we, we can with him. Uh, he can... Just rage him out. He can get to 1.8 and, and execute him. So he's got to kill that many before we I can know. get there? We, so well, we I know. So we have Axe Collector. Oh, but this... Yeah. Oh, one mine. One mine. One mine, yes, one yes, mine yes, is yes. the skill. Oh, it's like a hive. <laughs> yes, the hive yes, mine. Yes. So that's another thing you want to kind of not keep beasts together and try to have them separate yeah. for that. But we'll, we'll see. It might not be as bad. Two. So you're seeing a one pointer here. Sure. So Rocker. your one pointer, this guy's familiar, uh, familiar skill to you. Ew. Mischief one. That's uh, fine. I don't have any. I don't have anything right now. <laughs> yeah, but you'll get your one thing up there. But uh, he's three health, one attack. That doesn't seem too bad. Leave him. He does attack the two, two gear locks or two opposing units if he's beside them, but he's melee. Well, only one dice. It's not bad. Yeah. It's... And he's only three. Okay. So we're going to leave him? Three right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, he's fine. So we'll put him on the top. Okay. Uh, so. Because it's still the same calculation. Three people, take two, six. Yes, yep. it is. So, we're, yeah, we're going to get him anyway. Well, okay. then there's a mech in Chrome. Or, yeah, mech in. Potential? Because, yeah, because they could oh. go in there based oh. on the encounters. Okay. And then they throw off the numbers a little bit. All right. So that's it. We've done all the th th what we can do in the recovery phase. Everyone did the, the scouting. We have um, did our lockpicking attempts. So yes. we're going to go on to day two. What, what? And day two is, should I stay or should I row? <laughs> Sailing the Cibron means building a raft. A task completed after a few hours of sweaty work. Time to push off. Before the maiden voyage of the USS Nobulus's Bane uh, can begin... However, a flaming arrow kathunks into a plank. A glance at the wood's edge reveals a clutch of aspiring pirates perched in a tree stand, knocking more projectiles to rain down from on high. To stay and fight means facing the group with mechs close on our heels. Oh, but fleeing now will allow the novice marauders to put holes in the raft's structure and in the raft's captain if an enemy manages to jump aboard. Mm -hmm. So here's a choice. This is cool. We can choose water battle at the top. If you row, there will be trouble. Uh, battle cube baddie points. Add one crown. How this works, Justin, there's a math to this. Battle cube baddie points is what right now? What's our baddie points? Six. Six. Okay. Uh, adding a crown or a mech, as it says on this card, you literally, they're three points. You just add them on top. So it's like we're having nine points total. If it ever says include crown... You include as many crown or mechs that all cost three. So see that bottom option down there? Yeah. It, if it said include two mechs, that's what those two gray symbols are, we would actually take those three points, add them together, and fit as many as we can into the number. So uh, six it would be six in there. And then that means that uses up all our baddie points. We get no regular baddies. It's Sweet. just the two mechs. Okay. But in this case, it's add. So we take the regular Q and add these. So the second option is probably a little harder. But we'll read what, what they have, and it's giving you extra loot. So obviously it's probably a little tougher. And I've taken that one and it is pretty tough, especially early here on day two. So the first option, uh, if I row, there will be trouble. Battle cues, baddie points, we add a crown. Uh, all baddies enter the battle map with two HP stat. So we've seen a couple one-pointers already. Three health, one was two that I put to the back. So we're doing six points, so it's a five and a one. This guy will come in at one less health. The five-pointer hopefully can take less health. Maybe that's good. Maybe it's already two health or higher and has this hardy or something. Who knows? But you place one wreckage chip on the raft. And remember I talked about wreckage chips. Once there's going for a fifth, we lose. And there is no way to repair them in this scenario. Sometimes there's ways in the encounters to spend extra decks to repair them. We got to kill them quick. Let's go. Yeah, you just kill the crown. The crown are the only thing that can break the raft. So we just put one on the mat. We kill him. We're good. We don't have to worry about more wreckage. But it starts off with one already on the mat. Okay. And it's cost extra decks to move into that space. 
The land is, if I stay there, it will be double. Battle queue baddie points add two mechs. All baddies enter the battle map with two HP stat. So same thing, but the mechs, you can't bleed them. You, they don't lose to fatigue. They can't be poisoned. Do they all have different health? They all have, uh, so the mechs, I'm trying to remember the health on them. Uh, oh, here's what the mechs have. So they're interesting. They have an armor stat. They don't roll defense dice. They get armor. Armor starts with defense on them. So if they have armor two, they start with a two defense die on the chip. You can hit that and knock it away, but four out of the five, I believe, have a skill that regenerates one or two every round. So if we don't double team them and get them off the map fast, you literally could hit them for two, get rid of the armor, on their turn, recover two, and come and punch you in the face. You hit them for two. Playing solo sucks yeah, against these like guys. Really sucks. <laughs> if you can't get enough going early. I learned that. So I will never, ever pick that mech option when I play solo ever again, unless I have a way to attack twice in a round for some reason on day two. <laughs> Hindsight says, can you search for better loot with Trove Loot? Yes, absolutely you can. You don't search for better trove loot. You toss yeah. away the trove loot and you search the loot deck with those dice. So you are allowed to toss away trove loot. Let's say I didn't like this fog machine and I've done this many times in playthroughs where I get a backup plan that I think sucks at the time or I get it late in the playthrough and it's not helpful to me. I will toss away that trove loot and then I get to roll six attack dice and then I get to look at regular loot to replace it. So that's the risk. You do not get better trove loot. You get You look for better loot. Mm. It's still just base loot, but yes, you can throw away Trove loot to get that. That's how that works. Okay, uh, so we could on the second option though. There's three of us, but that is a five, a one pointer, and then two of those three pointer mechs. And one of them is ranged and shoots a uh, bleed at us. So it'll bleed you one from anywhere on the map. And I believe it does target two or three guys. So that's one you want to take out quick. There's a guy with assault. And assault in this game is, it's a four health unit. Assault is rolls as many attack dice as his current HP. Oh. But it's only going to come in at two. So it only hits for two attack dice. But that's still a little mech that's hitting you for possibly four dice to start. That you could potentially not get rid of. Yes. Yeah, no problem, hindsight. Ask any questions in the chat. Anyone who's watching, if you guys have any questions, feel free to throw them out to us. I played hundreds of hours of Too Many Bones uh, on video, not to mention the hours not on video, <laughs> um, playing this game. Uh, Undertow is kind of new to the channel, but I've done probably like 20 something hours of live streaming this game. Uh, so I feel like pretty good so far at it, but I've not placed all, faced all the tyrants multiple times yet. But I did a campaign nine hour stream last week or the week before. Uh, so I got a pretty good taste of a lot of the game in that playthrough. Is it a good you. or a bad taste in your mouth? I think uh, it's good. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's good. No, it's awesome. It's, it's just a different way to play. I love it. Yeah, it mixes it up a little bit. Yes. Uh, so... How confident are you, Mel, in like the ability to take on 11 points in the second option? Day two. No, I mean, no, I have no extra anything. They only come in with two <laughs> HP, but those guys, the mechs, still get their armor. Why do you want to go for the harder one? Man, what loot? Oh. Any, any recommendations in the chat? What do you guys want to see here? Obviously the harder one. <laughs> no, no, the no, chat is usually good. They want, to keep, they want to keep the playthrough going because if we lose, sometimes the stream just ends, right? Yeah. Not the intention right now. But yeah, anyone sure. in the chat, if you got you got a recommendation you want us to pick a certain one, let me know. But I'm, I'm greedy. I want to go for the extra loot because we, we haven't got any we loot get, yet. How much training points do we get? Two. Two. Regardless. Either way. If, yeah. if, if we have passed. to win. Yeah, you have to win. So if you go for the harder one and then you lose, you lose two training points. I think the training points are actually more important. And the day. And the day. It has a progress, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so... The harder one. <laughs> Buell wants the harder one and the smiley face. I'm down. I could <laughs> okay, be I could be pushed it. either way. Harder one on Legendary. Yep. If Buell, you're the only one who said anything, so it's your choice. All right. We're going with the harder one. All right. I'm going to play real smart. We're okay. going we're gonna to get yep. schooled in the mechs here. Yep. We have some buffer days. If we lose, we lose. It is two training points. It's a little rough to give up. But, and loot. Uh, and we're playing on Legendary. We got this. So, yeah. We're legends. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. We have to make it through a Legendary playthrough first. Uh, three player. Okay. So, uh, first things first, uh, we are going to build our queue. Uh, so we're on day two yeah. times three is six. So my vote is harder. Hindsight is var harder. Never played Undertow, but I usually go for easier. <laughs> so my vote is harder. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs> awesome. We usually go for whatever gives us the most training points. Usually, usually, but sometimes it's super obvious that we will lose and get nothing. <laughs> so we'll try to pick the other option, but... We'll go for harder. You got to do calculated risks. So we know what our one pointer is. So, uh, so, so that's the cue. It just goes down to two HP. They don't lose two HP. No, they start uh, at 
They have a 2 HP stat, so that is their max, so any of them that heal back up or anything, stop at 2. This I've seen ones where they start at 2 HP. This one says they start at 2 HP, they have a 2, they enter the battle mat with a 2 HP stat. Oh, so it's so on their stays. on their chip is like a 2. Picture that, that's how it's... Sweet, so I think we could pro hopefully take these out. Hopefully. One or two at the first, like, round. Okay. Oh, you roll three attack die. Uh, I know. And the, the uh, mechs go on the bottom of the queue. Uh, Crown go on the top, I believe, is how it works. But well, we don't have any I'm pretty sure. Thank God. Not until the Not water. Right now, it's like they I, flip. Water. Yeah. All yeah, right. Guys. So let's build the queue. Well, um, well, that's a good one. So here he is. So we saw our seven and three. This is his twin brother. I told you this would happen. Yeah, but he's only two. <laughs> yeah, he's coming in at two, which is beautiful. That's like a great hit. But he's got weak in two. Five. He's a five? Uh, he hits for three attack dice. Uh, yeah, five initiative. Oh, mm -hmm. I could potentially uh, for him. We just gotta get him quick because he, a he rolls three attack dice to defense, which could make him hard to kill. But the weaken two makes us weak against our other enemies that we're trying to hit too. So then next we got our goblin dabbler, which we know he's right uh, lane two. And then uh, we have a mech hound who has swap. So after he attacks, he's gonna swap positions on the board with whoever the closest. I believe strongest opponent's opposing unit is, but I'll read that if that comes up. So we're gonna roll a d6, and if you can get two health ready there, got it. He's gonna go in position three, and he has it. a disruption. So if he rolls a bone on a backup plan, he is sending us to fatigue rounds at the end of that round. So he gets two armor to start, and he doesn't regenerate it at least. So when we knock it away, we're good. But he does roll two attack dice. Uh, I don't then like roll, him. roll the die. Go ahead. You can you can do it. Four. Uh, four is the next one. Well, at least they're all relatively close. So this to is the Spider Bot 4.0. Uh, he comes in at two health because of this, but he has rolls one attack die and has the two armor. And he has bleed. equipment and bleed. We're about to learn what bleed is. He's ranged, so he's not going to be really moving around. He'll just be uh, shooting us from there. But he has the two armor. So how equipment works is you roll a d6. On a six, his any die is actually going to uh, move up two or three. Let me see what that one is. Um, I forget now. Uh, increases any die by two, so it actually comes in at four, which doesn't matter later if they ever enter in the mat later, they just still go on the bottom of the queue. But he gets to go earlier now in the turn. Uh, if it was a one or two on the die, he would get extra armor, so his HP stat would be increased by two, or he could get a sharpening stone on a three or four, which he would get an extra attack stat, so he rolls one extra attack die, and you'd actually put an attack die on him to remind you. So there are other equipment. I do think the six was probably the best option. <laughs> yes, but there are other guys in here that have equipment. You'll see that have more health, more attack, and will could get more attack and more health or go earlier in the turn. So I that's how, I don't like this game. <laughs> yeah, I don't like how, this game. <laughs> yeah, it, we're already. stepping our game up here. It's more interesting. Yeah. It's, it's, legendary. This is putting our, we our this. yeah. We've you've played hours and hours of Too Many Bones through we've, Age of Tyranny. Yeah. We played one legendary match, and it just it like it was great. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. That's all yeah. we'll say about that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. So we want to roll for initiative for ourselves? Yes. So I'm going to initiative die. Uh, I'm going to have four for Duster. Four. Come on, five. Four for Stanza. Four. Where would you like to go in the in the four club? For you after Rob. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. There you go. Thanks. This way, if I take some hits, and you'll because I'm me. because I'm at full health, no um, no nightshade entering the mat right now. Uh, so who's a priority? Max uh, or the dragon? I'm feeling like either the guy who could send it to fatigues, which is annoying, but, but maybe not the worst. Or the bleed? Or the bleed guy. Like, yeah. Like bleeding is, is... Like they're both bad. Yeah, he targets the strongest unit from there with bleed. But then also this guy, weakening and hitting with three attack dice. I feel like we need to split up our efforts. Who do we... Go? We don't go before him, though. So somebody's going to get hit with a weaken, most likely. What it'll do, it'll take away a... Uh, it puts a weaken uh, two die on you. And that on your turn, you basically have two less decks. And it goes away. It just your next turn, you have two less decks. So, which could be... It's so, crippling. It, it basically could... Uh, this early in the game, I only have three decks. We all no, only have three like, decks. Yeah. So you have one, one attack die or whatever. One defense die. Yeah. So we need to split up our efforts, but we also need to take out the most... The biggest threat. Um, I don't know if there's a way we can... I don't think we can get away from this guy. I think I'll take him. You'll take him? Yeah, because I can at least get rage out of it when I take the hits. <laughs> True. Okay, so you want to go in front of him? Yeah. Oh, how much health do you have? Five? Five, five. yeah. That also makes a difference. So I only I. have four. I have five. That's cool. Uh, okay. Okay. So then I could go... Is any of them targeting more than one? Uh, no. This guy is. Oh, the, that guy. the goblin dabbler is if he's beside two. He so if somebody goes in front of him, we're fine. This, but, uh, this one will be ranged, right? I think 
Also, this guy will swap. So after he attacks, he will swap with, um, I forget if it's closest. Um, at the end of this unit's turn, it will switch positions with the closest, strongest opposing unit. So he will probably move in if and attack whoever, and then he'll swap with them. That's okay. And if you ever find yourself out here on a mech starting position, the first, uh, you're allowed to attack from there. But your first movement you use has to get you out of that position. So if I was here in the mech position and there were two guys here, I can't move a mech position and then get out. I'm literally stuck there until one of those spots gets free. But I can still attack from there. Sweet. Okay. That's better than the raft. Yeah. So better than so being in the water. Thinking? Do you want that guy or I, I, the They're both side? trouble. Yeah. So you can But getting decide. bleed is bad too. But it'll be one of you guys because you're stronger probably. Probably won't be him if he takes a hit of three attack dice. He might not even be alive after this first. Yeah, uh, yeah, I will. But he needs to go. Like, he'll roll some defense dice, but we can't have him rolling three attack dice turn after turn. So, honestly, if... And he'll just keep hitting me. I mean, I could go can. here and then hopefully go go for this guy. And he then won't this hit guy will us. come in and then no, I'll go for No, he's ranged. Oh, he's he will ranged, not move. So then I'd have to move. Uh, or I do that. Do you have any range? You don't have, you're not ranged at all now? No. I mean, stanza? No. I say we just as fast as we can because if he switches it to fatigue rounds, we need to go fast. Yeah. Um, and you both can't attack him. I can't even get there. Yep. So that's where I'm going to start. We'll see. But uh, yeah, I'll start here to take these two attack dice so you don't. Hopefully, it doesn't kill me. But uh, but your wolf could come in. If I'm alive still. He's got to be alive. <laughs> just at the next round, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And he automatically will come in at the top because he's treated like a gear lock for that. Nice. Okay. Um, uh, okay, before we get started, just one sec. We'll be right back in one minute, guys. And we're back. Oh, that's better. Yeah, that's good. Okay, sorry. I just forgot to put a light out there so it's a little brighter on Justin's side. He's so lighting up my technical life. Technical difficulties. All right. Lighting up my life. Okay, this guy's first. All right, so go ahead. And he's attacking, attack. he's attacking Tantrum, which is all of his love. Yep. Okay. So he hits for uh, three. three. I'll do it for you. Oh, so this, this goes up here, doesn't three. it? One, take two, yep, three. three. And he now has... So 1.6... He now has three defense. Oh my. Well, let's say I'm not going to get yeah, rid of we'll that. Yeah, we'll lose if we don't get rid of this guy. So I'm saying your fog machine could move him down two spaces, right? Yeah, but... If you get two bones. Yeah, that's the thing. Okay, so we need to worry about him then. Because you only roll one dex. You're not, you're not getting through three, three defense. No. But if we sit here wasting our time on this guy, these other guys get to run How wild. much attack dice do you throw? Two? Uh, yeah, only two. You could potentially get rid of his shields, potentially. Yeah. Potentially. So, two attack, one defense. Uh, I get a bone, and two, two. attack, so, uh, yep. Now it's me with my weaken, mm -hmm. and one attack dice. Yep. And, uh, yeah. Two. two. there you nice. go. So you get one through. Bang, so he's one health away. But that sucks, he's still gonna get another turn. No. But you're no longer weakened, so... Well, till he gets hit again, or yeah. whoever gets hit. He goes after the weakest, yeah, actually. Yeah, he'll just take him out, probably. Okay, now myself. Oh, wait, every time I, I attack, right? Get a hit yeah. through? Yeah. One, so you go to 1.8. 1. 1. Hold on. There's oh, 1. so you 8. can... So it's still my turn. Yep. So then I could kill a one-point baddie? Uh, or, I think, uh, is it adjacent? I forget what it, he's what it is. He's a five, anyways, if that matters. Let's find out. Is it anywhere on the mat, or only... I think it's only adjacent. So he triggers active rage die, an exhaustive, which is... Maybe I'm just bad at reading. <laughs> no. 
I see it. On yeah, the other yeah. side, it'll be on the symbol of your uh, thing, right? Because uh, it's a oh, die yeah, result. Yeah, it's a uh, execute instant defeat an adjacent baddie up to one point for tier one, five point for tier two, or twenty point for tier three. Yeah, he's a tier. He's a five. He's, he's a, uh, but yeah. they're, they're, the only one pointer is this guy. <sighs> but you're not adjacent. That's annoying. Okay, so me. So you would need to get the second die going to be able to to one shot three pointers. Okay. Uh, it says target and tantrums target is adjacent. Yes, perfect. But it's not a one. Point. Yeah. Yeah, he's not a one point. So. Well, it's just adjacent, Batty. I don't know if it's target, but. All right. Uh, okay, so I will go for. Yep. It's annoying because he's gonna miss you. Or. Away. The bleed is only gonna hit you, Mel. I would move one. Well, you need to start taking him out or else he's going to... Can you move one and try and kill this guy? Because if not, he's going to move down and hit both of us. Ah, true. Yeah, I can do that. Okay, so one dex. Oh. Two attack. I thought you started there. I was going to, oh, but... okay. Whatever. Things change. All right, hit him for two. Take him out. Nice. Beautiful. Okay, see, that's great. Good, good going, started. everybody. Good going. Proud of my team. There we go. So okay. far. I love yeah. my we'll team. We'll be proud till we win. Okay, <laughs> love then... My team. Let's this. The mechs are going to drill. This is like, this is tough. We're, I don't know if we'll win, I think, because uh, this is the harder option only on day two. So this guy is going after the strongest, which is me, and he's rolling one attack die. Oh. And he's going to put bleed. Yeah. But it's only one. It's going to hit me for one. Yeah, but the bleed is going to take me out. No, no. That's the bleed plus attack dice. Yeah. Uh, okay, so this guy over here uh, does the whole two attack dice. If you can roll two attack dice, I'm the adjacent unit here. No bones. Three. For three. So I'm down to one. Okay, but no bones. That's Whoa. good. No bones is good. And then he swaps with me because I'm the strongest, closest adjacent unit. Oh, you know what could help us here? It is the wolf. Okay, so she it is end of the round, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, so she's coming in. At the top uh, of the queue. And she can only go, yep, and she can only go in melee positions. Um, so here or here. And... Oh, that's too bad that she can't I'm get going here. One. Yeah, 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 for sure go there. She can we can soften that guy. We'll have a probably. backup plan backstab that could work because this You're guy will be adjacent. Yeah. yeah. So all right, round two. Mm -hmm. Uh so nightshade. Uh can roll two attack dice on this guy, I guess. I could have went here actually and move in here. How many movement does she get? Two. two. Like, just like a, a, a monster, yeah. Because yeah. that'll save him. Yeah, I will just start here and then she'll move in here. So two move. And roll two attack dice. Uh, for one. Perfect. That's all she needed. But you also get a bone. No. No. You don't get bones? Uh, no. I don't think so. Okay. I'm worried. No, I don't think so. Not on her turn because she doesn't have like a backup plan like that. That's true. George A is with us. Oh, <laughs> George A. Oh, and he's telling us to do what I just did, right? Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. See, always, always George. He's they, there. They always are saving us. The he's quicker. Way. He sees it. Like he's watching from the bird's eye view. He just, he sees the right moves. But me, I'm in the trenches. It takes me like five minutes to come in. Oh, he's just popping in. Hey, George, how's it going? Uh, G-O-D, right? He is. Yes. He is. Uh, yeah. He's a str strategic tactical master, this guy. But uh, yes. So it's always good when he's saying, saying what I should do. After I do it and I look up and I'm like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Always helping out. All right. Uh, so, so blue comes out. Comes yeah. out. Okay. So we now it would be yourself. So now, duster. Still the problem of I'm about to die. You, and you can roll four attack. Or four attack. <laughs> That's all you need. Well, maybe not because Justin could help you. If you... Yeah, true. Because I can roll He's my gonna two go attacks. Next. So, oh, we got John in the chat as well. John's here. Hey, guys. Uh, so I, are here. two attack, one defense. It's the help we need. Uh, so two. I do get two, which takes away his defense. I get another bone. Oh, Here's the problem. I got the backstab, so if, if Nightshade was there, I would be able to do the two extra damage. But then again, that guy would still be on the board. Uh, so I could do the move down the enemy meter thing, but we're all above them all. So there's no point. Right? Yeah, we're above them right. all now. So I'll just sit there with my two. Yeah, get, uh, get your innate plus or, one. Or I could run like a chicken. No, I'm going to move over. I just got to hit him for two, right? Yeah. I could use pack mentality to move adjacent to... Uh, oh, I forgot Duster can start anywhere on the battle mat. That's another thing she has as her innate plus... Her innate. Yeah? Yeah, she can start anywhere on the battle mat. Forgot so about behind that. behind people? Anywhere, yeah. like anywhere. That Just great. not in the mech stuff, I think. But yeah. um, 
yeah, I could swap positions using pack mentality and I could bring Nightshade over, but she has full range to both. So, but I could use that to get me across uh, the board faster. across the mat. So, if this guy is going to be okay, I'm going to go after him now. I think I would go here, and I'll spend a bone to do that. Are you going to take the bleed? What's going on? Like he he hits he's, he's ranged, gonna hit me. so oh. it's not about adjacency. Uh, all right, so I'm done my turn. Tantrum, and I'll move one. This way or this way? Uh, Don't I'll, block the dog just in case. Oh, yeah, over. I'll go over. Yeah, makes and sense. And it, also, le it also leaves a way for Mel to get in there, too. So I have see. two decks. Uh, yes, you do. Left, two attack yep. dice. Yep. I'll roll two. And, and you I got, got him. two. So your thing goes up to 2.0 because you attacked, yeah, right? 2.0. Oh, that sucks. doesn't matter, actually. It sucks very good. It doesn't well, no, matter. if you end your turn and still on 2.0, which it will be, right? It, it yeah, but my body one. count goes up by one. Mm-hmm. So we got rid of one of the mechs. <laughs> yes. Okay, I think we got it. There's only one guy left and we're all still yeah, alive. Yeah, we're doing okay. So okay. it's the end of my turn, so this goes back down to one. Yes. Point oh, right? Yep. Watch it. That's fine. It does okay. It's really not Try to get some bones out of it, though, if you can. Yeah, when I got to the 8.0 and I couldn't use it, I should have done used the bones on it instead. Which no, 1.8, there isn't bones on it. It's execute or advance. Oh. You need yeah, to get to so 1.6 is the beauty for the bones. Okay. I got okay. You. okay. I got so you. now myself, I'll use one deck. Oh, first poison, I'll lose a... Bleed. Or bleed, sorry, bleed, yes. Then I will do one dex to move, and I'll just roll two attack. You guys got this. I'll just stay with it. And I don't know. I might be dead, but... <laughs> two for two. two. So you take away his armor. That. So he just needs two more to die. Yeah. And now it'll be him. Uh, so strongest unit? Me. Okay, so he's attacking you for one. You're already bleed. You're already bleeding, so he misses. Yep. No backup plan. Wicked. Round three. So you don't have to worry about going Perfect. into fatigues, because uh, the other mech's gone. Nightshade. Uh... uh Oh, he came up diagonal, can he? No. You can't get there. No. no. So Nightshade will just chill. Uh, will it try to move closer? No, I choose what to do with it. Yeah, it's all but good. it's going to be over. Uh, so we'll use Duster. I will roll uh, two attack, one defense. And one and one. One for one. Yep. Uh, hold on. Bones. Um, nope, not adjacent, so I can't do the backstab. Pack mentality. No. And any meter stuff doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, tantrum. A little defense? Could or... roll, try to get bones and stuff to do. I what do defensive you got? dice. So, oh. so I can't roll. Oh, you can't dice. roll anything. You can't do anything. No, that's cool. Go. Uh, <laughs> I can move for two. Let's just get in close there. Just in case? Yeah, just, you know, in case Mel dies. Yeah. Or... Step over her body, go in and attack. <laughs> All right. Gotta do something. Go ahead. Okay, do so your turn. me. Well, yeah. yeah, I know. I was going to when I. Okay. You're just bleeding. So you're again. bleeding. Yeah, that's what she's doing there. And then two attack, one defense on this guy. Yes. And I got him. Yes, we made it. Very nice. Wow. I thought that wasn't going to work yeah, out. I thought, yeah, I didn't think so either. Especially when that guy rolled three defense on his first roll, that big five-pointer. I was like, uh-oh, we're not getting through that with two attack dice. Oh, I should recover. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Boom. We did it. The harder one, just because <laughs> you guys wanted us to. Yeah. <laughs> the chat voted. We picked the harder option on the card. And we get rewarded. It pays off. So loot, loot, and loot. So first I got a harpoon pistol. Oh. Single use. Choose a non-tyrant baddie on the battle mat and place it on a position adjacent to you. If this baddie is a crown, it is instantly defeated. Oh, Ooh. that'll be nice. Take a look. It's on a hook. A bleeding crown foe. That stands, stands up. Okay. Okay, I got a power cell, which has two uses. Reroll any two dice, only usable in battles. Okay, so you can't use it for training dice or anything. Okay. <laughs> Buell had faith in us. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. If we lost, we would have we would have come after you. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> What'd you get? Sibron Kelp. Single use. Fully heal yourself if you're at one HP, otherwise heal for two HP. I'm nice. pretty sure that's what it that's says. That's exactly yes. what it says. So you can kinda like gamble at like, well, if I go down to one HP, I can pop it and go to full, but it's like, do I want to risk yeah, this is the guy. This yeah. is the one that should use it. Yes, yeah, true. Um, all right, so one progress. So we're two progress. You need three more before we can fight Barnacle. John says, good job. I need to go, but I hope I can come back later. John, always. You're always welcome to leave. Come and go as you please. <laughs> Thank you for stopping in. We appreciate it. Uh, thanks for always being here helping out. Bye, John. Uh, and yes, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll probably, probably see you later. All right, uh, two training points yes. are what we get off this one. So, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I want to double check. Yep, time to go shopping in the training points. I am going to take 
I think I want to go wolf build for fun, but I feel like my stats are the suck. <laughs> like two attack dice sucks. Yeah. Three deck sucks. One defense sucks. Four health sucks. Uh, so all that won't want to do, but we only have two training points. So what I'm going to do is classic. I will just go first try attack. Only two. Uh, I miss. So I will use that in dexterity. Then on my second training point, I will try to attack. I pass and it works out. So I get an extra attack. So I'm rolling three attack, one defense. So it's four dice. I can roll it with four decks. I just need some more health, but I'm just trying to get myself a little more stronger. Uh, so that's where I'm going. So Mel, what are your thoughts? What are your options? What are you doing? So I'm going to definitely take one dex and I'm going to start singing some songs and I'm going to take the Siege of Charon die. And George is correct. For a barnacle run, I don't have the days for wolf build, but uh, we did play three player with my daughter off camera before uh, and it was fun. I did build up the wolf, had her running around with like four or five health and she was attacking for two and all that stuff. It was super fun. But it's, we got a lot of training points. We just got lucky. Uh, but having three people on the board allows Duster to survive more. And it seems like we want to win more. And then the whole Nightshade just helps out. I found in a three-player game, George, Duster is like, obviously we know this. She's weaker in solo. But I was able to do a wolf build on a barnacle run when we were playing three with yeah. Nugget. Yeah. It was Nugget, Stanza, and Duster. And yeah, I, I did a whole wolf build. It was totally fine. Uh, the wolf was actually doing more work than Duster was. Duster was just hiding in the background while the wolf did all the work. It was pretty awesome. Um, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do it. But it's something that goes through my head. I always think about wanting to do it if if I have the buffer of extra gear locks. And George missed the beginning, but we are playing on legendary. Not enough chance. So. Yes. Oh yes, we're playing on <laughs> on legendary. So that's probably why I shouldn't do the wolf build. Uh, period. Uh, not enough chances to use ferocity for free wolf training. That is true. That is true. I only got it like once or twice on that playthrough. But nice. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna just make Duster as best as Duster can be. I think. And we, need you, we need you healing the gang. Yep, I'm getting there. So right now I took the die that lets me take all those uh, uh, poisons poison and effect away. dies away from our party, which will help. Not under the old Zelfie or Forever Mine. I would go with one of those two, to be honest. Why? And don't tell Justin what Forever, Forever Mine does yet. I want you to show him. It'll be pretty. When it happens and blow his mind. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Which is good right now because we're facing lower point baddies. So it's great to get it early. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. But try. healing the group well, with that... under the old Zelfie with buff HP is good to. Well, no, I was gonna. You're, you're working towards only time will tell, right? Yeah. For some revival. Yeah. Okay, that's fine too. As <laughs> you George saying to you there, Justin. Two train decks. <laughs> Yo, I have decks right here, George. As long as Justin <laughs> right remembers here. to train decks, legendary should be okay. Yeah. I have decks right in my hand. Yeah. <laughs> Justin does not value the he's, decks. He's trolling you from there. Yeah, he always trolls in the comments <laughs> later, but now he's doing it live and I love That's it. That's awesome. That's the things that we say to him too. It's yeah, yeah. They say a lot we of know. things. We yeah. know. We're we all, it's all I, fun. I tell him George later. I'm like, you should see this comment. I send him the comment. I'm like, look at what George said. I told you. You don't believe me. The Dex is what's important. No. You, now you can hear what they say to me in real life, George. Yeah. We're yeah. all friends here. Just funny. Yeah, yeah. That's what they say. He, he, doesn't, right. he doesn't cry himself I'm, to sleep I'm after. I'm training defense first. <laughs> training defense first. Okay, I got it. Thank Ooh. God. Perfect. And then I got a Dex. <laughs> all right. Nice. One and one. Yep. So now yeah, we're... I think just buffing up some of our base stats playing Legendary just kind of need to be solid because having extra skill dice are great, but if you're dead before you can use them. Yeah. 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 All right. So that is Roared Phase done. We all did two training points. Yep. On to Recovery, yep. uh, where we could do some Trove Loot Unlocking before we choose other options. 100%. Maybe? Hundo P. I would just like to do that just to see. Yo, sure. Try mine. Having more knowledge before making decisions is always great. Uh, Five so levers. Starting on... Ooh, you're one away though. Mm -hmm. I need four force. But she has two tries. I have one try. True. Uh, yeah, let's start rolls. on Justin's. Let's start on Justin's. You have two rolls, right? So I'm looking for five lever. You don't even need to roll to train decks from zero to one because you roll your current. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you didn't you weren't supposed to even roll. I forgot you have zero defense. You just oh. get it. Nice. Oh. Yeah, sorry. We knew that. We got another one about that too. Yeah, yeah sorry guys. I, I didn't even notice that. I can't see the defense staff from here. I can only see the dice in the way. <laughs> That's okay. I totally forgot about it. I still uh, got it. It's okay. The defense, yeah. All right, so I'm trying on Justin's lock uh, on his trolley, which is a 5-3-2. So we're looking for five lever. Uh, Not a lot of force there. <laughs> so which one's the lever die? It is the darker colored one. So I will re-roll. This is still the first attempt. Maybe I get lucky and I roll a three lever and then I can convert. I get a convert and yeah, I can yeah. convert the two. 
Uh, I didn't, and I got a plus one save. So I'm going to try again, since it's the first lock I'm attempting on. I'm going to try again. It failed. Um, one one lever. lever. That's not, but that's that's not going to help. Yeah. One lever, one force, one force, and a conversion. Doesn't right, get no. me there. Get your four. You would have opened mine. That's yeah, did I get the four? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, Damn. that's okay. Okay, four force. Because maybe one of the trove loots helps us in lock picking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, four force. Uh, three three force. force. And, and a conversion. So I got Plus, it. You got it. It's open. Here, Justin, start working on yours. No, I want to see what did Mel get. get. Mechanical squid. Uh, Better than mechanical I don't squirrel. Think I've seen this. Uh, I don't know. Mechanical Let's squid. See. During recovery phase, choose one of the following and perform it. Uh, one, draw the next two cards in your encounter deck. If one is a water encounter, choose to place it on the top or bottom oh. and shuffle the rest. Or two, reveal and cycle the next two crown in the crown body stack. Interesting. So you just little options. It's like the mechanical squirrel. Oh, these guys should be this defeated pile. My bad. Okay, uh, so there's your mechanical you. squid. Oh, and the flavor text. Hold on. Flavor text is peerless. At, uh, peerless at deep water espionage. The marvelous mechanical falafel pod. But I don't know what that word is. Sure. It's super long. Super long, crazy it's word. It's like a super califragilistic. Yeah, kind super califragilistic, exhalatious kind of thing there. All right, so five, whatever. Little Mary Puppet. Oh, it is stanza, though. Yeah, stanza's on all the flavors. So far. Yeah, even mine. Oh. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I got a stanza. Two stanzas here. Yeah. Oh, she's the best. She's quoted. She's, no, she's singing. Guys. Duster just stays quiet and mean in the corner. What are we doing? Oh, here? Five, five force. force. Uh, three force and a plus one and save. No, nope. you got a four force and where you could carry it forward. But if you just had another force there, that'd be nice. But nope, you so can re so retry. Real. Is it cephalopod? No, I think it's a longer word than that. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Nothing. I don't know if you can see that. Oh yeah, it is cephalopod at the end. Mechal... Mechalocephalopod. Cephalopod. Okay, so what? Uh, which is the force? Which is the force die? We're better at playing games than uh, reading. The force die is the silver one. Yes. So hold on. What did you do here? You're looking for lever five lever. Yeah, five lever. Oh, you so failed again then. Yeah. Oh no, you have it right five there. Five lever. Yep. Oh yeah. And and you can add one to one of them and carry it forward, which you probably would carry forward. Trip. Yeah, you need more trip, so yeah. I'd probably. Add plus one to the trip, so it's four, five, six lever. Yeah. But you get to carry that forward with the. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, that's right. So this, is my, this is my last roll anyway. Well, you get. Depends. Oh, you can keep going, maybe. Tea. If I keep getting. Yeah, if the you, re -rolls, if you keep, I keep getting this one. Or if you want maybe, to lock the die. Yeah. Three so you're looking for three trips. One T. You and can re roll the trip die. Uh, you got one. it. Plus you one go. and save. Uh, so two, two plus one and save. Aren't we all just having a good time? So now you get to reroll those three dice again. For two force. Two force, yep. I see. So cephalopod is a type of animal family that squids and octopus One are. force. And is this the re convert or reroll? So look on those dice. I see a one force and a three force on this one. And then what's on that one for force? I think it's only one side on the bottom. Two force. That's all I need. But... Yeah, they're both the same odds. One side can get it well, over. But you could already, get a convert. But this one already has... Oh, yes. So reroll this and maybe yeah. you get a plus one or the convert and on the other one. Yeah. There you go. Boom. Plus you one. It. Boom. Unlock trophy. Look at you. Did that all by yourself. One run. What no, I did it with a lot of coaching. Well, you know. I, yeah. I banged on it a few times first. <laughs> a tackle box. Permanent. Backup plan extension. Two bones. Unexhaust any one of your dice, usable once per battle. Ooh, Turn cards two, sideways. Two bones. You get to for unexhaust. two bones. Well, I can unexhaust. Let's show the camera. Yeah. Oh, take it, I guess. Uh, that's cool. And the, the flavor text, it's no box of treasure, but I'll make it work. Nugget. <laughs> yes, not a stanza. It's not a box of delights or whatever that other one was. The box of endless adventures or yep. endless fun. Okay. It's my favorite. Uh, I'm going to heal. Yeah, I should, I'm recovering. I'll recover Duster. Me, me too. Oops, going to five. Four health for Duster. And five again. Yeah, I have to recover. Wow. So that's it for recovery. We're going on day three. <clears throat> and our first... Oh, it's a blue one, I see. Oh, no. It's a blue one. Let's hope it's a good one. Tentacular Spectacular. I hadn't. It hadn't seemed like much effort. The massive tentacle simply gave the raft a light shove. And it was breached in an instant. Barnacle seems to be more intelligent than the legends and songs give him credit for. He's directed the skiff right into the middle of another skirmish, already in progress. A slew of other 
Cretans are searching the area for Barnacle's legendary treasure. Now they are headed for the raft, surrounded and outnumbered. This could hurt. I don't like hurt. Good luck, guys. Maybe back later if you're still playing. No problem, George. Thanks all for stopping in. We'll see you later. It was good to see you. I'll make you proud, George. <laughs> <We'll see. laughs> all right. Uh, so the options are combat or combat. So again, water or land. So first, the land at the day at the beach. Battle queue baddie points. Add two. One point baddies per gear lock in the party to the top of the queue. Whoa. So battle, battle queue is nine. nine. So a five and four ones plus two more ones. Two per, for each. Per gear lock. Two one pointers per gear lock. So six more ones on yeah. top. Yeah. yeah. When a baddie is defeated, the gear lock that defeated it may draw a loot. Place it in prep area, only usable during this battle. Discard when the battle's over. So hopefully you get some extra nice deck stuff, you. some extra health. Like who knows? Uh, or we just go in the water, punch them in the suction cups. I think that's the option I usually pick. Uh, and the first option, we get extra loot at the end of the battle, though. Uh, normally, we wouldn't get any on the card. Battle queue. Two tentacles per gear lock in party. Starting with tentacle one and counting up. If successful, it's persistent for the tyrant battle with barnacle. Reduce the HP stat of tentacles three and four by two. Which is... Mm. That's great. This it's is good. stat. I think this is the one we want. Yeah, the second option is great for the tyrant fight later. The first one's like... Kind of can get us some extra loot, but like... It's going to get us beat up. Yeah, it could be trouble. Uh, I would do this if we got this later in the playthrough and we were ready to like kill one-pointers. No problem. had multiple ways to do it, but we're kind of rough. We're only on day three right no, now. I, I have know. no skill dice. So we'll go second option. <laughs> yeah. Sure. All right. We're going uh, for... Two tentacles uh, per gear lock. So six. So we're going one through six. Holy moly. Are in the queue. Okay. And we'll start rolling D6s. Uh, oh, we need a baddie queue too, right? No, no That is the queue. Oh, that is the baddie queue. Oh, okay. Battle queue is two tentacles per gear lock in the party, starting with tentacle Sweet. one, counting up. Okay. So, for some reason, oh, this uh, seems better, doesn't can it? Can you uh, flip the map for me, please? Oh, yes. Oh, we have to. Bum, bum. So here's our first raft battle for Justin here. Raft uh, battle. <laughs> we're on the raft battle. <laughs> Not a rap battle. <laughs> oh, I was getting all excited. Uh, six. To drop some flow. For the first. Oh, yeah, that's one health. Second one, going in four. I'll put the die in a second. Uh, next one going in three. Wait, three, uh, you said um, tentacles three and four reduce, does it say? Uh, no, that's in the tyrant battle. Oh. If we win, we get that ability. Oh. And the next one wants to go in three, but then it will try to go to four, which is full. Then it'll come back to five. Yep, how much health? Uh, four. Four. So these are a preview of the tentacles we'll have to fight in the tyrant fight, Justin. So they are numbered and they get progressively harder as they go up. So number one is a cute little tentacle with only one health, one attack. No problem, no skills. Then number two uh, has two health, one attack, but also has submerged, so it randomly moves. And it has careless with a backup plan, so it could hurt itself. Uh, then number three is three health, one attack, and one defense with careless backup plan. And then four is when they start getting a little bad. Four health, two attack, one defense, and a shock. What shock is... Before it hits you, it's like mischief, except for it won't come out of your active slot. It actually makes you remove a skill die from your mat. And yes, could get rid of Nightshade before I get it on the mat, because it's my only skill die right now. So if you have any skill dice on your mat, you have to get rid of them. Uh, one. So I get rid of like Axe Collector yep. body count? Yeah, for the battle. It knocks it out. Well, wow. let's, maybe I'll go to him. Let's see. Um... So that is our, obviously the most threatening one to deal with, but obviously five and six are worse, probably. So... Stay tuned. More bad is coming. Uh, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Grab got, your popcorn. Grab your popcorn. More more trouble is in the queue. Well, let's see. Because if I can go before him, then I can place this before it can get knocked out. Uh, I'm going so. at five. Oh, three. three. Nope, that's terrible. Uh, Rob could potentially move him down, right? Go ahead. What do you got? Rolling? Roll your deck. Let's find out where you go. Four. Four. Nice. Okay, I'm just going to re really quickly roll my Lutar for four focus. So how focus works for anyone that doesn't know how stanza works and Justin who doesn't know. No idea. Oh, yeah, she sorry. rolls this Lutar die, which is focus. These points can be used to play songs. She has all, if you see all this little colorful little wheel here and everything leading off of it, these are all song dice. Mm -hmm. All 11 of these spots. Sure. She has a bunch of axes because on her Lutar is a built-in axe. She can actually use this to cut baddies and deal them attack damage plus poison. She can hit a baddie with an electrical shock, because it's electrical Lutar, I guess, and it could actually do damage to the baddie, and then its adjacent uh, neighbor will take some damage also, and then it has Fury Cleave, which does true damage. 
on mm. the thing. So these are attack dice. But the songs all do different healing, um, true damage, uh, helping the party, hurting the party, help hurting baddies, all this kind of stuff. Um, but the songs are played, and they count up on the die. So these are never rolled, uh, unless you're rolling them to get more focus. But she spends a dex to intro a song. She can start playing this song. Right. And this is on the wrong side. Starts on side one in the bottom right here. Starts at number one. And you will all get this benefit. It applies to a certain party or gear lock or whatever. And then can slowly go up. But she can't play higher than her focus. But it right. costs a dex to keep going in the next part of the song. Or she can vamp it, which kind of puts the song on hold for a minute. And doesn't cost any dex, but does take a focus to keep that up. So she'll describe that stuff as she's using it. But yeah. that's just kind of how songs work. And if for some reason she get up to the five sign on this one... Uh, she actually can take a second turn. It's like the deja vu die on... Um, Sweet. On... Uh, so we don't no. want you to lose that. Yeah, this ma this battle's not terrible because the this one here, the cleanse, just gets rid of all effect die, which it won't even... There won't even be... How any, do you know there's it, not one of these that's poison? You're right. You're right. You're right. Well, five and six probably are. <laughs> I think one of them is. I, problem, I don't know about five or six. I, I don't know if it's higher, but anyways. The problem is... I have a feeling that, one of them is. What? I can lose my axe collector or my body count. You'll lose... Yeah, and then you have to get a consumable to get it back. Oh, really? Yeah, it's not just going to come back. Because the consumable will die. So, cool. um, I get to go Tantrum and Duster get to go before. So, I'm thinking... Oh, if you both just... If we both it. tag team the bigger one. What's that for? Does he have any... What? The one on top of this guy's uh, one one attack, oh, only careless. That's one attack, bad. one defense, and is careless on the backup plan. So that's if okay. he rolls the bones, he hurts himself. Yeah, I'll start right there, right in front of Rob. Yeah, I think that's if we double team the one that rolls two attack dice and has the shock thing going. But uh, and we both go before it, right? It attacks the strongest too. Yes, yeah, so we could both go before it and would attack the strongest, which would be you. So it wouldn't be shocking away my skill die. That's great. But could shock away axe collector. Oh, axes you don't have any yet, right? No. Isn't there a zero side on that tie? It is a zero yeah. side. No, no. Put it on the zero side. <laughs> oh. You're crazy. Not yeah. a blank die. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh. How dare you? Uh, oh, I forgot I have this instantly defeat a crown. Hold on. You don't have any Choose crown. a non-tyrant baddie on the battle mat and place it on a position adjacent to you. This baddie is a crown. It is Ooh. instantly defeated. We can ignore this guy. So maybe I'll just yeah. go for the one in front. Or I wait and hold it for a better one. I, I'll wait and I'll actually hold it for a better one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sorry. There are worse ones coming. I believe in you. Buell Richardson says, I don't recall if Duster fully healed uh, or is still a little damage. She had to fully heal. I was down to one health, so I fully healed up to four. So no no nightshade right now. Yep. Uh, I couldn't risk it. All right. So we're good. First, uh, Duster. Smash. Go Duster. We'll attack three. for two, three, three attack dice, one defense on nice. tentacle number four. And it actually it blows out. it out of the water and gets two defense like a boss. Wow. All right, so now I'm going to go for the other one. Yeah, but that's why it's good you're in that position. So you were able to do that. That's like perfect roll. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, how, that's how you do it, right? That's how it always <laughs> works. Uh, defeated tentacle. All right, so uh, I'm going for tentacle. What number is that? Uh, number three. Number three, three attack dice, one defense. Yep. This only has three health. And, and I hit it for quite. two. I get a bone and uh, two You defense. tick up your thing too for attacking, yeah, yeah. right? Your anger, anger management die. by one. Your rage. Oh. Yeah. And I'll take, a, right I'll take a bone here. as well. Try and get up there. Okay. But I got two defense now, so I'm pretty solid. Okay. And then myself... I will do, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Well, tell so, us what's happening. Sorry, I was just debating if I was going to do it. So I'm going to use one of my decks to in intro my song, which just to say what it's doing, cleanse. So remove any poten uh, 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 sorry, remove and prevent all effect die from being placed on the affected unit while section is active. So all of the party. I don't think it'll matter right now. Uh, then but it I just stays there? Well then as long as you next pay round, one. No, next round I have to move it up. Or vamp or it. Or vamp it back to the beginning. And you can't vamp it two turns in a row or else you have to exhaust it. Yeah. You'll see as it goes. Sure. So two decks oh three decks left. 
So two attack. two attack, one defense. Let's go for the submerge guy. Tentacle two. Tentacle two. And for one. I would have killed the other one. That's a <laughs> But you two got two bones. bones. So but then this way only one new one comes on the mat, which is okay, I guess. Let's actually use one bone to do a tune-up, putting my focus to five. Okay. Okay. All right, now all of them. Uh, yep. Yep. So one attack that on tentacle one. For one. Mm -hmm. uh, roll a, a attack and a defense for tentacle three. This is on you. Nice. Uh, for so one. hits for one. He's got a defense. Yeah. Oh, Justin does. nice. Okay. So I have a defense, but my rage die still goes up by one? Uh, Can no, because I haven't lost the health. It's okay. only for every HP. Oh, lose. HP. That's right. Not okay. for every attack. Uh, then tentacle two. One attack die. Ooh. And hits you for two. Wow. Ooh, ooh. You gotta heal yourself. Where's that under the old Zelfie now? <laughs> Told ya. No, I'm just saying. Uh, okay, so now the real guys start showing up to the party. So this guy's uh, five health, uh, tentacle five. I guess they're all the health of their number, which seems... It's going at four. So it wants to go to number four, uh, but we'll try to go to five. Uh, f sorry, four is here, then it goes to five. Oh, right where you guys are. Hitting for two attack dice, two defense, and that's submerged, so it will move randomly if it has nobody to attack. So how the Krellin actually work is we just kind of rushed it. But what they do is they check. Is there adjacent gear lock or a, an opposing unit they can hit? If not, they then move one space. Submerge makes them move randomly. And normally they would move one to the next number. If it's full, they'll just move to the next number or whatever. So if this guy wanted to move from number six, he would just move up to number one. If number okay. one was full, he'd move to number two. If two was full, he'd, move, he'd keep moving until he finds an empty space. If they move to their new position and there's nobody home, they will attack the raft, which they roll dice... And if they don't get bones, they will damage a spot where we choose on the raft. If there's only one option, it will break that option. Okay. Uh, round two. You are not damaged, right? So Nightshade will not come in at the end of the round? Correct. Okay, so it's your turn. Duster, three attack, one defense. Attacking the big five healther, two attack dice, two defense. Tentacle five beside me here. Uh, I don't think I need to use the harpoon pistol. No, not yet. I think we can both. But still I could. Take him I out. could kill him in one shot. Then you wouldn't be attacking anyone. But I feel like we're okay over here. It's just you need to take out something over here. But then well, you my still next have one, this guy coming yeah, into. Yeah, my next one gives me a defense. All right, so I'll attack tentacle five, Two, uh, hitting three, it for four. four. It's down to one health. Oh, so I should just kill it then. <laughs> That's good. I need to kill uh, it for my body count. Oh, sorry. I shouldn't have even rolled the defense. Uh, that was Oopsies. cheating. That was cheating. Shouldn't even rolled it. Um. So right. I'm going to roll my three attack dice. And, oh, do I take my defense out and try and get a two again? It's up or to a you. bone, or, or I don't know what you're bone. working towards. Two. If I get a bone, this goes up by one, then I get axe collector, and then I can get them all. Okay. Then I get three axes, and then I can throw them. It's great. Okay. Axe collector goes up to three, right? Yeah. And you can only use one per turn. One per that turn. I know. Yeah. All right. So I took my defense out because I'm rolling it. Maybe I'll get a bone or I'll get more defense, whatever. All right. And You're yeah, I was going one. for that one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I got my you defense. Blow it out of the water. Uh, I get my one bone there for the. Yeah. Cool. Okay. okay myself. Okay. So I will use one dex. To go up the next level on my song, which gives me one defense. Thank you. So the target is S in the top means stanza. Yeah. If it says P, it's the whole party. Okay. If it says A, it's all on the mat, all units. Yeah. If it's B, it's all baddies on the mat. Yeah. And if it's T, it's our target. Yep. Yeah. Cool. So some things will affect us that are. Yeah. There are bad sides yeah. where it's like, oh, great. The first side, you heal yourself. The second side heals everyone on the mat for one, yeah. every unit, even bad guys. Then the next one is like, Heal all of us for two and stuff like that. So it's like you have to play through some of those bad points and you have to like really, it's a whole mini game of balancing the songs, when to use them, when to not to. Sing some good notes, Mel. It's, Let's it's, go. she is, uh, show the difficulty on the top of that uh, reference sheet there to him. Yeah. Wow. All four? Four and a three. Yeah. She's a tough one to. Why well, have a four and a three? Yeah. Well. She's exactly like Tantrum. Yeah. Oh. Cause it's the same balancing. little game that you're playing. Okay. I am going to yeah, go a mini -game for. Balance. Um, let's go for this one because maybe this one could kill itself. So let's go for yeah, ten, true. Ten they roll the one. same attack dice, so whatever. Yeah. Oh, All smash! Right, got you it. got it. Oh, I got. 
Yeah, my oh, body count. I forgot to put my body count up one. Yep. For killing that guy at the bottom. The, the tentacle, sorry. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so no bones on that. So that's me. Okay, Squeeze. this guy's going to just roll one attack on me. On you, and you have one defense there, but you're going to take... Take one. Yep. Nice. Oh. Okay, and now this one, Tentacle 2, is going to attack me, and we're hoping for bones. No, but I have one defense, so I'm good. There you go. Okay, end of the round. We have a buddy coming in lane one, uh, or sorry, rolling a d6, uh, going in lane four. Well, that was not a d6. So this is not a d6? Tell, oh. me, tell me it's not a d6. Oh, I didn't know that every <laughs> oh, it number. Still is. Oh, yeah. You know why? Because I didn't, I thought it was like tell me, ours. Tell me, it's not, tell me more. Tell me more. <laughs> I thought it was like ours that some so of the numbers four, are. So four, five. One in five again. We, I think we roll four every single time. Does with it these. have a one on it, though? A one and a two? Yeah, because they can go, baddies can have any. any yeah. Oh, that was my brain fart. I true. thought it was like ours that have specialty numbers on them. No, oh, oh, you're okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, look, oh, cool. it's in the perfect spot again. And he goes at the bottom. Don't use it. Save it. So this is the hot spot on the raft. Uh, these tentacles don't like Duster or Tantrum. I'm not sure which one. Maybe it's the Tantrum holding the flower. That's yeah. like, get this damn guy. Get this damn weenie holding the flower, flower off our raft. Power. This little ang angry Tantrum guy off flower our raft. Flower power. They're attracted to it. All right. So six health, two attack dice, one defense. And oh, what's that? Poison two, you say? Good thing you took Sonic Cleanse. Yep. Next round. <laughs> yep. But good thing. You don't have to use, I don't think you have to use that. Yeah, we'll see if we pound, if we get lucky in our dice rolls like we've been getting. Uh, okay, so round three. Mm -hmm. I'm still full, so we had no end of turn. Uh, I could kill it one shot with harpoon pistol. It's gone, right? And it will just be gone, and then I could, but I, I wouldn't really do anything else in my turn because I can't really get anywhere else. No. Uh, one, two, three, four. That would be as far as I get. One, two, three, four, five. Can't even get that far. Okay. So I will just attack, three attack dice, I'll keep my defense. Let's see, if you don't hit it at all right now, and you can't, like, we can't kill it together, I'd use this. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, because I can use this after, too. Yeah. No one's going to take poison. Uh, bang, bang, four. hit it for four, wow. down to two health, and right. I get a bone. I think I might do it, guys. Yeah, I think you're okay, and we won't get poison from it. No. Uh, I get a bone, though. And... Well, let's not count it you know, before it hatches. No, I have this at, on the next side, we all would not get poison. All right, I'm going gonna, gonna to pop these three bones, can you do that? Yeah, you can. So that I can use them. Uh, I think so. I think it says, can I see your sheet? I think it's any time on your turn. Yeah, but I can only um, use my backup plan once, once right? Once, yeah. But we can you do may it exhaust order. rage die early uh, to gain number of bones or number of HP to fully or da number of damage to target. Um. You choose the benefits. Mm. Yeah. I think Should. so. You said it early, right? When Tantrum chooses to use the benefits on an active rage die, with the exception of advance, he must exhaust that die. If he exhausts the blah, 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 does this, he's able to start again. If, uh, each rage execute. Any. T okay, here. Each rage skill die has an execute on it at any time during this turn. If its active rage die is showing the symbol, he may exhaust that die to instantly defeat an adjacent baddie. So I'm going to say if you can do that any time on your yeah, turn, you I can, can exhaust yeah. it to give it three more yep. bones. Let's put it here to count for the three bones. Does that make sense? Because then you can line it up so that you could possibly use it on this turn. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to get pop these four. That's exhausted. Why to would you not do the axe collector? No, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah? Okay. Tell me what you think. Uh, I would... Sit at the four bones, oh, and maybe. on this turn, maybe you get two more, or in the next two turns, and maybe you can get your an eight plus one here early in the playthrough. Yeah, and that was my other thought. Didn't you have one, though? I had one, That's but what I'm this saying. also has three. No, on your... No, oh yeah, I did have one. You're right. Because, uh... No, no, I had zero. You had zero? Yeah, yeah. Wherever the zero is, there it is. All right, that's a good plan. How else do you get the bone, the, the axe collector... What do you no, have because they, these. Is there a backup plan? No, because these dice down here also have axes on. Them. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And also the fortune discovery can get you yeah, up to yeah. three. Yeah, get up to three that way. Or your or your backup plan, right? Yeah. So. Because uh, you could do it at the end of your turn. That's what I'm saying. Just roll, see what happens. If you're like, oh, I didn't get any bones, and I don't think yeah. the battle's going to. Maybe go I'll get around. two bones right now, and then yep. I'll have my an A plus one. That's and what I'm saying. Don't worry about this rage. That's what I'm saying. And it can just sit there at 2.0 and you don't have to worry. Oh, I got no bones. What do you know? See, this is what it's better to choose before. 
And you right. couldn't even do your backup plan until after. After, okay. Uh, when you're resolving your dice. So, okay. Uh, first, I will apply my attack dice to that guy over there. Yeah, thanks. And then I'll do take my one defense, and I'll pop my back up. Wow, um, actually, we have another couple turns. For, nah, uh, there's these two guys. At least, uh, one, at least one more, right? She's probably gonna kill this guy, and then you'll probably. I could stay and not do anything on my turn, and then we get around to you one more time. I'll do that, and then you can just do the finishing blow. Worst case, yeah, let's do it. Let's yeah, take yeah, advantage while count. we have it under control. Okay, I'll leave this then, and try okay. and get two more. Stanza. So I will spend a dex to go to three on my song. Doesn't do anything. Why don't you just let the song go and you can just use your full dice? I don't and you try to get bones. I don't. I can. I don't need. Like I can already roll my full dice. But you could get your innate plus one if you're super lucky. This is all my die that I can roll. Plus I have an extra dex for that song. Like oh, I my see. My dex is four. I, I can see. Only it doesn't even matter. It doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah. I did that on purpose. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Uh, so we're rolling on this guy. And I got him. Finally. And a, and a bone. Here, do you want it? Yeah, but it doesn't do anything. You never know. You have, we might have another turn. Mm. And I don't see her rolling four, four bones on three dice. Yeah, no. That's okay. She never plays for the bones. Uh, yeah, I do. Round four. Dusta. So you're going to do nothing? Well, can you roll defense? Yeah, or? there's nothing. Unless I get to my fortune discovery, but I can only roll. One this deep. is the problem. Yeah, I, I, can't, I don't even have a target. One, two, three, four. Done. Go ahead. Yes. All right, so now I'm going to roll my defense and three more attack dice to hopefully try and... Yep, just looking for two bones. Two bones. Uh, it's tough on attack, but <sighs> no bones. No bones. You can just end it. I think I it's want to good. pop it anyway. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, do that. That's yeah. fine. To get the three. Yeah, of course. And then kill with okay. the three hits, four hits. Okay. Whatever you need. And, uh, <laughs> all the above? Yeah, yeah, all the above. Okay. Nice. All right. And this goes back here. Uh, oh, does it start? It starts in my active slot, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, I've never played that one. I don't know. Rob? What? Your rage one starts in your active slot. It's, it's a before battle thing, yes. Yeah, so I'll just move it before battle. Yeah. Yep. Uh, okay. Oh, I lost one. All right. We did it. Uh, reward phase. Uh, so uh, we get a progress. Nice. Going to three out of five. Two training points. Mm. Right, 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 right. Body count. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh yeah, as you final blow, guys. I knew yeah. there was something else you I had. Keep, I, I was just, thinking, yeah, I, I yeah. haven't missed any yet, but I always do it later. Oh, yes, Yanis, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Uh, all right, we're playing this together. We're a team. Yeah, all of us, including you guys watching. Yeah, yeah, we're a team. We're playing like ten player. <laughs> <laughs> Does that, is that? I think that makes it fair because it's legendary. Times two. Times two. Did you? Yeah, you killed another one. Oh no, one. but I did. I did get that other one. How many, not, how many you want? Four. Four. You have four health? One, or four two, body count? Yeah, because I killed one in the first scenario and then the three there. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's nice. I'm setting you up good. Just you chop, are. Yeah, chopping yeah, them yeah. down. And We're a team. Punching them right in the suction cups. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny, actually. It's a good fun. <laughs> All right. So I don't know what to do my two training points. I think I just go the blade route. Or I can do... You said we get two, right? Yeah, I'll just go yeah. with Duster's Dagger. And uh, Dexterity. I'll do Duster's Dagger and a health, actually. Yeah. Oh, I do want more health. Man, we got time, right? We got another couple? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> but those are the tentacles we'll be fighting in the final battle. They're not that bad. And Barnacle is only a... I forgot to show his stats. He's an eight health and a one attack, one defense. So he, like, kind of sucks. And he rolls his tyrant die. But if you take care of all the tentacles before him, he's like so harmless, which makes it's totally thematic, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, you cut off the arms. Yep. Yeah, I know, right? Face Driving home from work isn't good to my connection. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Buell, do hang not, in there, buddy. Do not drive. Don't go in the watch. tunnel. Don't don't take the tunnel home. Go, go over the mountain. Don't drive in YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pay attention to the road. <laughs> okay. He's probably just listening. Yeah, yeah. We need you. Been there, done that. <laughs> okay, right. I am going to take Forever Mine, which we will explain <laughs> as we get. 
and I will take a drive deck. safe, drive safe, a deck. Sorry. Okay. Okay. So we'll explain that die. Look at this. This little slot's empty. This is weird. I've never seen an empty so long. That's cool. But she starts with five. She's already balling. No, but, I'm gonna do it in a minute, but yeah. probably next round. I just so, want to get a few songs going. So I'm training attack. I don't know. Are you? Yeah, you yeah. Said that three like dice? A, you said that like a question. Three dice. <laughs> Is it three? Yeah. Three. Yeah. Dex three. No, three no, attack. Three attack. Whatever yeah. your Total current separate. stat is. So it gets harder as you go up. You but got you got it. it. Okay, wow. Sweet. Four attack. Nice. And I'm going to take uh, like a cobalt. I'm trying to follow this to hope, hopefully let me live longer. Well, give you some hardy on a turn? Yeah. Nice. So I can take big hits, but only take one damage. Okay. Uh, recovery. So I don't need to heal. I do. Um, Oh, I have... Okay, so what do you think? I have four out of my potential five. Do you have any other way to heal? You yeah. Scout, you can look for better loot. I do have other ways to heal. I can do... Body count and the Cibaron Kelp. Yeah. Hindsight says, good question about Tantrum. Does he have to start the battle with his Rage 1, die in the active slot, or can he choose not to put it up there if he thinks uh, he will die before his turn? No, it is... Uh, can I see it? It, it, it does go automatically at the beginning of battle. Yeah, yeah it is a... Um, uh, where is it? Yeah, it says uh, his innate. Tantrum starts with rage skill die in slot one of his skills area. Before battle, rage is placed in active slot and set at 1.0. So, yeah. So that's why you have four active slots. So you have to, like, start. And it's before you even see the queue or anything like that. So you, there's no choice. You just have to do it. Because I assume if he dies with it in his active slot, even before he has had a chance to go, he loses his ability to use all his rage at all. Uh, correct. Yep. But he did. But he's dead anyway, so that's fine. The only um, bad part is it's up there, so if a mischief guy, that's why you got to position very well. If you go and there's a mischief guy nearby, which he needs to avoid, that mischief guy could knock it out of the slot before going, and they're super dangerous for that stuff. But you have the same problem with songs, but you don't start with them right away, but right. they can mess with your songs, and I don't really have much going on. But, yeah. but I, <laughs> Instead of healing, I could scout, right? Uh, yes. You can if that's what you want. I am going to scout for sure. Uh, I healed. So I was half dead. So three. I can look at a one-pointer. And we got a goblin, uh, not with mischief, though, with a new keyword that Justin's yet seen. Three health, one attack, one defense, and detonate two. He throws bombs. No. Nope. Uh, he is careless on the backup plane, and it's funny because it works with detonate. If he is ever below his, his full HP after he moves, he will kill himself to do two damage to every position adjacent to him. Baddies included. So he could roll, and if you're trying to avoid him doing that, he could careless and hurt himself, so the next round he'll do it. So yes, he will hit adjacent adjacent positions, basically, it, it hits. So baddies, tyrants, whatever. Save him. He's fine. Uh, yeah, he's not bad. All right, I'm going to... You going to scout? Oh, or I could toss loot, right, you said? Nah, not going to. I haven't used him yet. Four. Uh, up to a five-pointer. Let's do a five. Uh, so... We got a big dragon breacher, sandworm looking guy here. Uh, so let me try to get my hand still here. Uh, six health. Uh, he's compound. So his attack goes up every round. But at least he's not hardy. But he does have a built in careless two and he does roll a defense die. So he could hurt himself for two, but he's ranged. And he hits the three weakest. So he literally will attack all of us every single round. So you have to prioritize getting him off the board before he starts rolling two or three or four attack dice against everybody. Just like that, tentacles. Let's go. Tentacles? Just, uh, just yeah. like the ones we just kept smashing. Do you want to keep them? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and what are you doing? Are you I healed. You healed? So yes. we're good? Yes. All right. Day four. Uh-oh. Here we go. Twelve baddie points. I know, right? It's not blue. Don't forget to smile. It's easy to forget that we can appear threatening to strangers. We know we're the good guys, quote-unquote, but let's face it. Gearlocks aren't the most conventionally attractive species out there. A friendly smile can be interpreted as a pure menace to those unfamiliar with our peaceful demeanor. That appears to be the reason the group of merchants we just greeted have hightailed it down the trail. We're low on provisions and some bartering could go a long way. We could chase them down, further adding to their fears until we can explain, or we could detain them with more creative means. So, it's both passive. Uh, Ooh, the passive. Chase and declare so both land so if you can flip the map there i can uh i don't know if it'll matter but chase and declare your friendly disposition after plunking you with a few rocks thrown in fear the merchant concludes 
you are only half as terrifying as you look. Party may exchange any one loot slash trove loot for a new loot drawn from the loot deck, or uh, no extra bonus option on that, or they left a, a hunting net. You Oh, we forgot to get the persistent thing off the last one. Yes. Yeah, I'll, I'll so this, say that after yeah, you're Yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, that will sit up there so we remember about uh, Tentacle 3 and 4 coming in at 2 HP stack. Okay. So this one is you trap the merchant, treat this card as loot, disgruntled merchant. During recovery phase, Gearlocks may draw plus 2 loot when searching for better loot. Heavy and permanent. Hmm. But then it's hard. Like one person's basically holding this guy and can only hold one loot, but then you can help get the party... More loot. More loot. Uh, when you find anything good, you might have to discard it. Does anyone have any loot that just want to toss and look for different loot? I don't really like this. This backup plan is really not working for me. Uh, well, the unexhausted die is good. That is huge. That's why they have a limit on it once per battle. You could get your rage die back after it gets spent. You can ex execute a guy or get three bones, pop those three bones, get it back, and start it all over again. Mm hmm. You can get your hardy back after it expires. Get the like a cobalt back and re-roll it. Man, what are you talking about? It's not good. I said I could get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> so if we're not taking the second option, I say we just do the first one. And if anyone wants to choose. That's fine. Okay. So either way, it's a progress point. Uh, and uh, now you choose before we get our training point. But party may exchange. Oh, party may exchange any one loot or troll loot for a new loot drawn from the deck. Anyone have any loot they'd want to hunt for better stuff? Or toss your trove loot if you're not going to really use it? Mm. I feel like this is kind of a little slow, but could be very helpful to get us out of a jam if we if we all kind of roll low in the initiative. And then so, and I get the bones too, I can then drop a guy down too, but I really don't think it's that great. The mechanical squid is not amazing. Do you but... want to do yours instead? But your mechanical squid... Other than looking at the encounters, but I mean... Ah, but man, it helps us not hit those blue encounters. No, that's not the worst. They're fine, I think. Okay. Well, you guys know. Yeah, I would say maybe toss that. Can we only one. toss one as a group, right? I, it says party may exchange any, any one, one loot, loot slash trove loot with a new loot drawn from the loot deck. So you just get a regular loot. Well, maybe it'll be more helpful, like more heal or something. And it is. Night vision goggles, single use. Shuffle special encounter in the Ebonite doorway into your encounter deck if it has not already been added. Okay. Boom. Oh. Okay, so the reward phase, we get one training point. Um, I will take a... Hmm. I'll just take a dex. Okay, I will take a health, going to six. Mm. Yeah, let's go with. We are only one progress away from fighting the bad, uh, the tyrant, but we can do a couple a more encounters. I'm gonna take it out. Yeah, I was gonna recommend that. <laughs> so take an HP right away. Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, I got some. Oh, you got some. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, on to recovery phase. Do you want to do your night vision goggles, or do you want to look for better loot uh, and shuffle? Sure, let's shuffle. Uh, no, let's look for better loot because we don't need okay. that added in. Okay, roll six attack dice. Yeah, I was thinking that. Do... It's kind of like late in the play. Okay. I mean, we could get lucky six. and get it, but. Uh, two. two. So the two you get to see are a Kalker Nest, three uses, heal yourself for two HP, cannot roll defense dice this turn. Okay. Or a Meklebesh Pipe, roll a d6, apply the result to any lock of equal or lesser value that any gear lock is working on, bypass that lock for free. Ooh. So well, two uses, and that could be in an encounter if we get locked up. Not necessarily Trove Loop, but your call. I'll but take if the you heal for two HP, you can't roll defense I'll dice. I'll take the heal. Yep. Sounds good. She has only one defense now? Uh, no. If I use it, then I cannot roll defense that turn. But if I already have defense locked up, then it doesn't matter. I just true. can't roll yeah. them. Uh, okay, recovery. Uh, no true loot to work on. Does anyone want to trade any loot? Otherwise, recovery or scouting. You already did your option for yep. individual options. I will just scout for one. So I look at the next one pointer. We're doing great. Uh, it's Mischief 1, Goblin Mutant, melee, 1 attack die, 4 health. Uh, he's fine. Yeah, he's fine. Oh, man. I think I'll do it, too. I'll scout as well. 6. Oh, let's do it. Up to a 20. It. Let's do it. Yeah? Yeah, we have to find out. All right. So, 
It is a big gorilla mofo. It is a... Oh, his bleed and what dodge? Urius Uri Gorilla, 9 health, 4 attack dice, 2 defense. Can move diagonally, so you can't run away from him. Uh, he has bleed, so he'll bleed whoever he's targeting uh, before even hitting you. And then dodge. And when he enters the battle mat, he puts a 5-pointer in the queue. And dodge means... He can't be hit by white can't dice. Can't be hit by white attack dice. Do we have skills that can take him no. out? No. So what do you think, Justin? What do you want to do with this guy? Oh, put him to the back. Yeah. That's terrible. I'm down. Back of the bus. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's, uh, anybody else? You, you all did our interviews, yeah. right? Maybe we should so be a train. A day five. Train. Day five. Back of the train. Yeah. Yeah. Back of the stack. Pancake stacks? Mm. Fish and chips. Mm. Pancakes. Fish and chips. Fish and chips. <laughs> no. oh. Okay. Sorry. Fish and chips. The river teems with mud, gullets, and ribbits. Frog-like creatures that sub subsist on nothing but riverbed silt, leaving the river crystal clear underneath the blistering sun. The Cibron's depth varies dramatically, and locals often debate about whether the lowest river floor is merely a few or a hundred arrow lengths a, a deep. Whichever is true, the water is deep enough here to swallow the ship we see below as we slowly pass over. The sun is brutal, and we're completely famished. Some fishing in the shade would allow us some respite, but the potential of sunken treasure is tough to ignore, and beckons us to dive below the waves. Troll boot. <laughs> Whoa, this has got some stuff going on here. Oh, so man. water or water, if you want to flip the yep. board there. Um... Fishing chips. Battle queue is literally one crown. If we choose the first option of battle, the second option is peaceful. So the first one, at the end of each round, remove crown, if not already defeated, then add a new crown. Battle ends if number round, number equals party size. So battle ends at end of round three. Gain one buff HP for each HP removed from all crown. Party may distribute as desired. Wow. So it's like building up some buff HP for next battle. Or... Um, Mm. Okay, hold on. Gain number gain one buff HP for each HP removed from all crown. So I assume that's at the end of the battle you do that. Yeah, battle ends at round number, then you would do that. Okay. Because then so it's for the next battle. We just gotta keep track yeah. of how much time okay. is. Treasure hold your or treasure, hold your breath. So this is peaceful. Each gear lock draws one troll loot. To make a lock picking attempt, wish you kept that Mechlevic fight. <laughs> uh, yeah. Reduce HP equal to number attempts by gear lock. May not lose last HP. Gear lock may attempt to open another gear lock's trove loot. Successfully opened trove loot are kept and remain unlocked. Unopened trove loot are immediately discarded. Both choices. Encounter success is achieved no matter the outcome. We've been getting lots of easy encounters here, and I do not normally see this when I'm playing, but maybe it's because I play solo a lot. But. These are but all what? like they're just yeah. handing us handing us progress points. It's like no no chance to even lose. So what you're saying is I'm good luck. Yes, good thing we played on legendary. <laughs> all right. Uh, so, what do you guys want to do here? You I like the buff HP as opposed to because we're gonna be yeah at it's risky day five it's risky now. doing the trove loot stuff. But the buff HP we could go into the timer fight with that extra well, yeah, buff that's HP. That's what I'm saying. Or just pick another encounter to try to get more training points. But at least we go in that counter with the better odds of winning. Mm -hmm. uh, so first one. Yeah. I do like fish the first and, one. Fish and chips? Yeah. Fish and chips. Okay. So battle queue is literally a crown. Okay. Um, you have your crown killer, so that's good. And it ends at the end of round three. So we're going to roll this. And this guy's going in position three. It is a the treasure and flea guy who's five health, which is great. He's five health. So the more we can smash him, the better buff HP we'll get to divide amongst. I'll build a little queue of buff HP here using this health as we go. Um, but he's got treasure and flea. So how this works, treasure works, uh, if he dies, so the cool thing in Undertow, I forgot to tell you, the treasure die. If he dies, we get treasure? No, oh. he drops a treasure die. And anyone adjacent to that position can spend a dex to pick this up and roll it. And you can get shuffle ebonite doorway into the encounter deck. You can get two health and a consumable die, two health and consumable die, two health and a regular loot, or two regular loot drawn out. So it's like, uh, or a trove loot on one side. Which literally, I think this is the only thing I've ever rolled on this die, and I've rolled it like four times. Every time recorded, <clears throat> it's always a troll loot. Wow. I just get lucky. But the flea word is at the end of round two or five, so if he came in later, at the end of round two or five, if a guy with flea is still on the board, they run away. They defeat themselves, they go to the stack, and they're gone. Oh. So you lose the chance of killing them for the treasure. 
So I've lost encounters because I've targeted the treasure guys, trying to get them off the board, and ignored every other baddie oh, who's smashing me in the back. Of us. There's three of us. Yeah, and I hoped, oh, I'll kill him, and then I'll roll some health. And then even when that happens, I don't even roll the health. I get the troll loot. I already put everything there. You took uh, Yep, and throw them on there. So that is our crown. Uh, okay, so let's try to beat oh, him up. Oh, you're going first? Four. No, no, it goes to a pool, and we divide it up after. No, no, but the treasure died. <laughs> Well, that means... He won't be able to get yeah. it. Oh, I got a five. Nice. I'll go uh, after Rob. <laughs> In case he kills him. Ah, uh, yes. I can use my dex. Just going to roll my Lutar. Getting Three focus. focus. Three focus. All right, All right you fo focused. Mm -hmm. five, I am five. focused. All right. Mm. We're just trying to get the buff HP. The treasure's a nice... Oh, I'm going to go right there then. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where are you going, Stanza? Well, it doesn't matter because I can't. Yeah, it does matter. It, I can't get in there. Uh, oh. The next one could come out over here. Sure. Remember, if he's going to leave, we're going to get three different crown, right? Yep. End of round two, though, if we don't get. Ready. No. All right. At the end of each round, he leaves. Right. No. Oh, that's the wrong one. What am I looking? No, it's not at the here. end of each round. They don't leave. We put uh, another. One. No, that's the at thing. At the end of each round, remove crown if not already defeated. Well, then okay. add a new crown. Battle ends at the end of round three. Oh, we gotta kill him. I want that loot. So do we if sorry, we still play three rounds? Yes. Okay. Unless we all die before that. Okay. Ha! Die. <laughs> Alright. So, uh let's see here. <laughs> uh yeah, I'll just go offensive. Uh so I have five decks. I'll do four attack, one duster's dagger. Okay. Yep, five decks. All right, so I hit him for seven. Got a bone on my dagger. I will not apply it. Seven, yes. Seven kills it. So that is uh, five possible buff HP added to our amount. We'll divvy up it after the battle. Drops the. And because it's gone, uh, I'll clean it up here. I'll just get them all off the board. Uh, so he'll flee, and then on he'll drop a treasure die there. And anyone adjacent, any point on the turn, can spend a dex. Which I should have rolled less dice. I totally forgot I was going to do that to try to screw you over. <laughs> <laughs> totally forgot. It's okay. Uh, I didn't get it. This is fun. Tantrum. Oh, I would like to spend, spend a dex. dex. Okay, here you go. Roll the die. <laughs> Come on, something good. So, Ebonite, Ebonite doorway. doorway. This is wah, wah, shuffled wah. into the deck. <laughs> it's not good enough. Yeah, Ebonite <laughs> Doorway. I don't want that one. I know. So can I spend another dex to reroll? Nope. You can still. Unless you have now. a way to reroll any die. I do. <laughs> oh, too late. Nope. Uh, you can still roll your defense, though. All right. You guys not looking? Don't look? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. I'll looking. roll my defense to um, try and get a bone or whatever. Yeah. And I got one. There you go. I can get angry. I could t up to get... Yeah. yeah. Whatever. I'll just roll one defense. Two defense. Yes. Okay. okay. End Ready? of the round. New crown coming in. Roll a d6 for me. Five. It is a four health, one attack, poison one, melee, attack uh -huh. the two weakest. Yes. And oh, you, man. it's a crown water wrath race. Water race. Uh, round two. Dusta. You can, can you attack it from the... Nope. nope. Do you have to move around? You're yep. melee or ranged, are you not? Only with my throwing knives. Mm. Yeah, she's not as good a melee range as Nugget. Um, I could harpoon it. But I think you're okay rolling four attack dice on a four health guy. I hope so. Uh, but I can use five decks. I also one, have my throwing two, knives. Three, four. My throwing. There you go. And I'll just roll one. Uh, hit it for two. <laughs> you have uh, high rolls today. Hot, hot rolls today. <laughs> Never in my solo playthroughs, really, but uh, when, it, when it counts. Uh, All right, tantrum. Justin. All right, four attack dice. Oh, I took off two health, so we had two more buff HP to our stack. Uh, one, two, and you three. Finish it off. Oh. And you got one bone there. And I'm so going to move up to five. And doesn't that go up for your two attacks that you've done? Yeah, come on. Get with it, man. Yeah. Come on, you got to No, manage. I only attacked once. Oh, yeah, because the other guy was right, dead. Right, right. Yes, come yes, on yes. now. Give me a th I'm, I'm getting better. we gotta, we got to manage his mat, too. <laughs> no, I got this. I got this. I tell you, I even took my body count this time and everything. Come on. I, it's okay. fine. Let's go. Let's just get a sec. Okay. Me? Yep. I'll pass. <laughs> all right. It's all good. Oh, maybe uh, they'll come under your side. Round oh, three. No, maybe. It's going to come into Whoa. It's going to come into five this time. So we got a five healther, poison two, one attack, six. Crown, under total, oh, one attack. Oh, it's on Mel's side. Get him. I know I was debating moving over there just to prepare. 
But I thought I worried you might fluff on the attack, so I had to had to <laughs> I almost him up. did, didn't I? Uh, okay. So round three. Oh, only two of us can attack her. One, two, three. Or attack this person. Four. Four, five. Okay. Damn. Nothing. Double bones. I wow. jinxed you. I'm sorry. Uh, it's the last round anyway. I'll just take the two bones and mm. and then I will uh, move him down two on the any meter. Oh wait, can't you just <laughs> kill him? Can't you just kill him? No, there's no. Uh, no. I'm not wasting that now. I think we got a lot of buff HP, but you guys can still get in there, right? Mel, how uh, much attack dice do you two have? Two attack dice. So if you move one, you can throw two attack dice. Yeah. If yeah, I move three, yeah. I can throw one attack dice. And then you block her from doing any. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to do that. Well, I don't know that I'm going to kill a five pointer with two attack dice. Oh, we just need more health. Just get more health yeah, off it. That's all. It's just all. whatever we can get. I might try. You can re roll worst case. If I get terrible. Yeah, just let Stanza do it because she can possibly get more for us. Than you yeah, can. yeah, that's what I want to do. I'm going to try and just... But you uh, could you can roll a, defense. I roll there. one. One defense. And then... Oh, you're debating attacking so you can move your die up. Die up and then get my more innate bones. plus one. If I can get... Because if this goes up by one, that's two. And I just need another uh, two. No, but you won't get that rolling one die moving all the way over No, there. I will not. Mm -mm. All right, that's cool. Uh, I'm roll just going to roll defense. I'll take it, go. just in case. Do you want to do any backup plan stuff at all? Mm, I don't think so. I can get angry, but it doesn't do anything. Yeah, your axe What's collector's full, right? Ex unexhausted. Oh, you can axe collector it, uh, hitting it for... Oh, rolling. I can, as long as it's... Yeah, hitting it for two damage. From is that there? what it is? That does exactly? Yeah, it, just says, it just has to be non-adjacent. It says, yeah, deal two damage to a non-adjacent baddie once per turn each time you use Axe Collector. Reduce this die by one. Sweet. So we did get a little bit okay, more out so of it. Okay, so you can add two more there. Yep. And then now, so you're done? Yeah. Okay, so I'll do one dex to move, and then I will you roll... You could potentially kill it. Yeah. Two attack die. And we get all the HPs. And no, you got two. Two only. Hey, Ooh, sorry. Still two more buff HP. That's and then great. He'll roll one attack, one defense on the strongest, which is you. <laughs> I have two defense there. It was planned. Nice, there perfect. So okay, end of the end of the battle. Down. He's done. Uh, he wasn't defeated though, so I'll put no. him at the bottom of his queue. And guys, we're rolling. This is pretty good, actually. I feel confident. Do you? Kind of. So look at all that buff HP we have. Yeah. So let's see. It is uh, five, ten, thirteen. Well, you are sitting... Oh, you're sitting... Five at health? Five, six health. I have six. So you take... I'll take the bigger sack. Yeah. <laughs> you two divvy up the last four each. Sure. Nice. So what do you have? Five. Sweet. We're all the same now? So maybe we do go to the boss. Because we're this also going to get one training point that we can use for something else right now. And we were able to take those tentacles, like, no problem. I think it was really lucky that they just kept popping up in front of us. Yeah, that no was movement. lucky. No yeah. movement. Yeah, oh. we didn't have to worry about raft breaking or anything. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, so reward phase, uh, progress. So we now have enough progress to fight Barnacle if we want, and we get a training point. So training point. Uh, I'm going to take throwing knives, which might be helpful throwing them across the mat at other tentacles. I would like to go one more day, if possible, do another encounter, because mm -hmm. it would only be on day six, and we still have two chances to fight him after. I'm going to take Cripple, yeah, to reduce attack dice on people, enemies. You could do it on, yeah, you could do it on um, the tentacles, tentacles, barnacle. Because he had no attack dice? He does one, one yeah. attack, one defense, uh, but his tentacles, as you saw, can get up to, yeah. and we didn't see number seven. Which could be But intense. number seven is to attack also with, oh, no, that's six. Oops, where's seven? What did I mess up here? Oh, seven I put on the top. He's three attack dice, seven health, shock one, and submerge. So they get up there and attack dice as the later ones come out. And they could heal and come back. But uh, I think I'm just going to go for attack. Yeah, You're gonna attempt? two attacks a little weak. Yeah, attempt. Still not healing the group, though, eh? You selfish son of a... No wonder Zelfi, you didn't even do the old only time will tell to help revive or give health, but I feel well, like we're pretty... Well, you said we might do one more. Yeah, we're doing one more, I think. You guys okay with that? 
We're, on, we're only going into day six. We can uh, have up to day eight. Is to the chat him. okay with that? <laughs> yeah, I think they want to keep, keep watching. watching. Yeah, yeah. 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 So we're two hours in. We're good. Yeah, we're crushing it. Uh, okay, so recovery. Um, yeah, I'm full health and everything. Um, I don't think I'm going to use my backup plan, man. This one, the extension? Yeah, I think I'm going to toss... Uh, to hopefully get a better loot. Yeah, I'm going to toss fog machine for better loot. Uh, and three. Whoa. One, two, three. So this goes to the bottom of the troll loop. That's pretty good. Uh, so spider silk solve uh, is not really good late in the play. You place one health chip on this card during recover each recovery phase. Uh, this HP may be used to heal yourself. Discard when used. So it kind of like builds up. Kind of like the opposite of the stew. Oh, fortunate. Or to discovery. Good for you or no? Or uh, I could get the blade dip for some poison, but I probably would give it to you... For axe collector, maybe because it's like more offensive, but you're already at two axes. How many are you gonna get on a battle going off? But I mean, if we go three or four turns in a battle, that's more axes for you to throw, or you can use them in the next encounter. And then for the boss, you're you got some in the pocket, maybe. So uh, increase your dex by two for this turn. If you reduce the HP of a mech this turn, this loot is not discarded and may be used again. Single use. Hmm. Well, there's no mechs in the tyrant battle, so that's not happening. I'll just take the fortune discovery. Um, and maybe I'll get something that's good for you. Okay. Maybe. Well, it doesn't matter. I'll still just give it to you to hold on to. What do you think, Mel? What are you doing? Did you do anything? Uh, I've done nothing yet, but I'm just going to scout, I believe. Two. So the next one pointer points. is a hardy compound, kobold tenderfoot, two health. Uh, so it only takes a couple turns, but you gotta, you got to hit him or else he eventually cute. gets up there. He's a cute little guy. No attack. Oh. Well, not so long compound, yeah, yeah, yeah. Harding compound. We've dealt with these guys before. This guy's melee, though, not ranged harding compound like the uh, cold bolt tracker or whatever it is in the first one. All right, uh, he's fine. Uh, okay, so he's staying. So we know the top three one pointers it is a goblin devastator, a goblin mutant, and a cold bolt tenderfoot. All right, I'm gonna trade this loot. Do you need six? Toss yeah, away looking for better loot. Six. Could get none. Yeah, but I don't know. That is. It's good, but I haven't, like... Unexhaust any one of your dice. Oh, man. Three. three. Look at this. Holy. One, two, three. So let, right. me, let me show you what you got. Yeah. So Fortune Discovery, we know what this is. Grab it, consume, will die. Uh, programmable Defibrillator. Single use. During battle, use on another KO'd gear lock to revive them with three HP. That's pretty powerful. Whoa. Or, if you are KO'd, revive with two HP. Permanently reduce revived gear lock's health stat die by one. Follow KO rules before reviving. Revive Gearlock rejoins the battle at the end of the round at the top of the enemy meter. Do not operate under the influence of Troll Brew. <laughs> Defibrillator warning label. Or yeah, cool. Sleeping Darts. Uh, two uses. Before battle, reduce your total battle cube body points by two. Which doesn't care about the final battle because it's only... Uh, it's, it's only... Yeah, there's no battle cube body points. It's just literally all the tentacles. So you can't really manipulate that one. I do think we're going to go with the defibrillator. It yeah. sounds pretty strong. Bringing someone back to life. Yeah, it's a good just uh, and in would, case. And I'd probably trade this with you. I would trade it with somebody who can stay alive longer. I wouldn't give it to me. Uh, <laughs> I'm still like the lowest HP. I have no way to heal myself. Oh, uh, you have that buff, man. She's usually, if she gets her two like healing dice, she's usually the one that sticks around the longest. I wouldn't keep it on you either. No. I would give it to Stanza, I think. Yeah. Uh, okay. I so just we'll... want that fortunate discovery. Uh, oh, you want so trade we it can for? trade it. Yeah, here you take this anyway. We can trade as much loot as we want right now in the recovery phase anyway. Thank you. Do you want it? What's this power cell thing? Reroll any two die. Not you don't me. really roll Not dice as much. I'd give it to Rob. No, no, but yeah. but think she's oh, uses healer. her decks to put dice up that don't roll. Yeah. No, just the three attack, one defense but are my only. It's only in battle, right? So yeah. you can't use it to do your focus die. But you could do it on a die you roll later for focus. Or just my attack and Honestly, stuff I would bones. probably give it to this guy who's rolling four attack dice over there. Sure. Because then if he gets bones and he needs to hit or something. Sure. I would just give it to someone who can has more dice to affect sure. with it, I think. I'm going to give you this then, Rob. Yeah. I don't need. This is uh, the heal. Uh, fully heal yourself if currently at one HP. Otherwise, heal for two. Sure. I'll take a heal. <laughs> yeah, because I have this. Body count? Yeah, I don't have any built-in heal or any heal loot, which is the only thing that kind of scare me. I have recouped, too. But maybe on the next encounter, we'll do one more day. Uh, we're done. Let's recovery? Yep. 
Yep. Day six. We're strategically planning this out. Hopefully we get uh, one with a... Oh, oh. There we're going to see it. Is it, it. Oh, no, 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 no. A mountain out of a Molnor hill. It's I don't want come it. back to haunt us. Let's see how bad it is. Just like death, retribution from an angry Molnor is inevitable. Hopefully this isn't dangerous darts. Uh, it doesn't really matter what you did exactly. They always make sure the debt is paid. And usually the price is significantly higher than doing right by them in the first place. At the end of the spear, negotiating is not really an option. The opportunity to not make them angry is long past. And now it's a matter of how painful it will be to correct the situation. One option. Oh, I see a purple trove loot coming unlocked. Oh. Two training points. So it, it's uh, on land, if you can flip for us here, Mel. Uh, mm -hmm. Plead for a game of dangerous darts to determine your fate. <laughs> Damn. You make the only offer that Molnar are known to never refuse. Your plea is granted. Choose a gear lock to play a game of dangerous darts against a Molnar opponent. If you win, select one gear lock to represent the party to face a furious gorilla in a 1v1 bout to the knockout. Battle cue, furious gorilla, 20 point. Mm. Gear lock has surprise. If you lose, same as if you win, but no surprise for this battle. Ooh. Does the same gear lock that plays dangerous darts have to play? No. No. Okay. You just after the dangerous darts, we just choose a gear lock, and they either go surprise or they don't, which might make you choose a different gear lock based on that information, based on who rolls higher on their uh, initiative die, maybe. Uh, and then it says encounter success is achieved if furious gorilla is defeated. If successful, persistent, gain Molnar champion title. Among the Molnor, and in any future game of Dangerous Darts, they let you go first. Oh, too late for this. Uh, all right, but this is for two training points and one single unlocked trove loot that we can choose who takes. So he has twenty hit points. Uh, well, no, he's a twenty pointer. We don't we don't know we don't what know. he is. Oh, it's the one at the back. <laughs> Select one gear lock to represent the party to face. Battle queue is serious gorilla. Oh, we know who he is uh, when we place him in the queue, so we can choose. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know anything about the Furious Gorilla. But either way, who's playing the Dangerous Darks? Um, <clears throat> is it 10 and 10? Is that how the rules go for Dangerous I haven't only played once. Yeah, ten Dangerous Darts. Let's just double check, make sure we're all on the same page. We all are on the same page that we hate Dangerous Darts, yes. Yeah, so far it's not been good to us. Um, is it in the book or on the reference sheet? Oh, is it on the reference sheet? I forget in this version. No, nope, it's right here in the book. Oh, okay. So I'm doing it low-tech today, guys. Uh, dangerous darts. Each player and opponent starts with 10 HP. Using only attack dice, defense dice, or status effect die, the poison, weaken, and stun effect one. Players must choose three dice, but no more than two of any kind. Non-gearlock opponent always chooses two attack and one status effect die. Once dice are chosen, the game begins with your opponent rolling their three dice. Gearlocks always go second. Take turns rolling available dice. Apply rolled defense dice to self, deal damage, and apply rolled status effect die to opponent. Poison, weaken, player's choice, or stun. Uh, bones are used for the Danger Starts backup plan. Must be used in the same turn they are rolled. No storing up. Only gear locks may use the backup plan. Uh, on one bone, remove any applied die from self or opponent, effect or defense. Two backup plan bones, stun opponent until the start of your next turn. Or three bones, instant knockout, you win. Remove all your opponent's HP to win. So obviously if you take status die, it's less chance of using these backup plans because it has Maybe no bones open. on it. Oh, never mind. Yeah, that's fine. I'll, uh... Do you... Hmm. Does it matter who? Who, um... Uh... I don't know. Not me. I, I effed it up last time. I'm not, I'm not being the one making the choice, picking the dice. We all got to play it, I think, though. Once we did, yeah. Yeah, we all Go lost. ahead, Mel. Roll this, uh... Let's see. Highest number goes. Go ahead. Roll. Between you and I. Six. <laughs> <laughs> two. All right. All right two, I'm, Mel. I'm playing. <laughs> Look how easy that was. Okay. So here's the baddie. This is you. And they roll two attack and a status? Yeah. Two attack and a status. And I get to choose what I want to roll. Yep. And no more than two of a type. You can pick from defense. You can pick from attack, which or you're out of. Oh, uh, you guys have more here. here, yeah. Or you can pick from status dice, and yes, you could take two status effect die Ooh. if you really wanted, which could lead to stuns, poisons, or weakens. So you can only put one stun, right? If, say, both two stun come up, it's yeah. just one. Yeah, one gets applied. But you get one stun and one poison. You get one of each. Oh, man. 
No. So you'll never ever be able to do the automatic win because of no chance of the third bone. But I mean, getting the three bones is like. Have you guys ever done the two stun? Have you ever tried two like no. two status no. dice no. and one attack? No. You could just stop them from attacking you like consistently. But it's only on one side out of six. So like. But you can also poison them and bleed them and like. Uh, no, no. Poison or so, weaken. There's no bleed on this one. But weaken takes away two of their dice or one? Well, it depends if it's one weaken or two weaken. Oh, that's still yeah. pretty good. So anyways. Oh, you want more offensive? Trying to speed it up? That's, yep. that's what I would do. You know why? This is because we've played You're just this. just copying this guy? Yeah. We've played this three times and lost But the thing is, times. they go first, which going first in a battle like this is a huge yeah, advantage. Yeah, but it's all on what you roll, too, I think. Uh, we'll I hate we'll this see. game. Okay, they go first, so you're going to roll for them so that I don't get confused. We'll take turns. But I have a hot rolling hand today. Yeah, me too. Look at this. Two. Oh. Two hits. And one poison. And a poison. No, oh, he has like three hits. Here, we need those, though, back. I'll roll. I need the poison. Oh, you have one. No. Oh. No, that's what no, I'm rolling. rolling it. Come on, give me those. <laughs> okay, so here. now I'm rolling on this guy. Three. Well, oh. Start of your turn. Did you take the poison? Oh, no, but I definitely am going to win this one. Three poison, So four, four hits. hits and three poison. Ooh. One, two, three, four. Okay, then... put that poison effect die on top. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. So down to six, which technically if you can survive three more rounds, it will take itself out with the poison. Okay. Go ahead. Stun. Three hits stun, stun and oh, hits no, you for three. three. Okay, go ahead again. But no, it takes poison. So then... Oh yeah, then you take uh, poison so hold three. On. Stun is on your turn, applies, comes back. Oh yeah. Then at the start of this guy's turn, three. Take down to two poison. Hold on. One, two, three, yep. four, four. Gets all of its dice back. See, it still can win. Like, don't... It's too slow to do the poison. You need to not hit, get hit by stun there. Only uh, one. Hits you for two. And a poison. Okay. And a poison on top. Okay, that's good. So. so as long as you can take one HP away right now, you will win. Yes. And you take away four, which is more than enough. Oh, yeah, kill. we won! We've seen Dangerous Darts uh, won. It can happen. I it can I happen. Know, but oh, that's, that's the, why I thought about copying the same dice that they always yeah, yeah. win with. That's the combination, though. That's the combination. Two no, attack, one it stun. depends on what you roll, though. Rolling three poison is uh, pretty good. Because had they rolled three poison on me that first time, then I would have been out. Okay, uh, so, I so actually take one. that's so funny. Oh. So not another battle. It's funny we're talking about taking loot and stuff ready for the next battle, but this is not a battle. It was a battle. <laughs> so now we have to. Oh, do this now is fight. the battle. Yeah. Sorry, now yes, I battle. forgot. There's more. Uh, okay, so who is going to take on? Oh, it was the gorilla we saw already, right? Yeah, he thinks yeah. the one on the back it's that we put in the, the back. back. Oh, it was a furious gorilla. Oh, I was reading like an E on it. Yeah, it's a, an F over a G. It looked like an E. Furious gorilla. Whoops. So we already know who this guy is. We can't even hurt him with a... Th oh, man. So it has to be someone like Justin or you with bleed. No, I have... He doesn't have bleed. No, but he has the have, axes. But that's only two and two. And that's only when you're not adjacent. Good luck. But you have this. Like a no, cobalt. That just makes you Hardy? survive around. It's not the one that deals poison back. Mm. That's the... Uh, like, a, like a worm. What yeah. does your red die do? Uh, bleed or uh, a ranged attack. Oh, we attack. could bleed him. But he's got to survive. He's going to bleed me. And I only have five health. This guy's rocking around. No, no we HP have we have buff. the HP buff. Oh, and he has a five pointer to the Q. Select one gear lock to represent the party and face the fierce gorilla in a one, oh a one v one bout to the KO. Never mind. And the gear lock will have surprise. Yeah, that means we go first. It can't be me because I have nothing. Oh, I I also can bring the wolf in. Yeah. Actually, can this do a twenty? No, it I don't know matter. if I'll survive. But oh, I have the buff HP. The yeah. wolf can't do anything to him though. I have the buff HP. No, yeah. it could attack the wolf instead of rough. Oh, yes, that's right. But I mean, well, what else I can't got? do anything at all. Uh, no, it doesn't do a 20. Uh -huh. But he wouldn't, he wouldn't, he would just attack me if I took over him. Yeah. Well, I think we're kind of screwed on this one. Yeah. No, I think that's you, what happens when you mess with the mountain or a mole or a hill. No, I think you Don't can do, do it. That. I have this heal if you, I go down to one. You, you think you can, can do it? Yeah, and you can bleed him. Let him bleed out. Well, I got to stay alive for that and He's run away. On one defense, he moves diagonal, so he. But your wolf will come in, and your wolf oh, can sorry. be a buffer between you and him for at least a couple rounds, or at least one. Right? Uh, we'll see. Uh, but I think I have the best shot, maybe. Oh, we can't trade loot, eh? No? Not right now? Damn. Nope. No, we're like in the middle of it. I reroll any two die. <laughs> well, yeah, I could have put poison on him if I had my uh, fortune discovery. <laughs> uh, all right, so... Nine. Nine health. Uh, lane one, melee, going at four, but I get surprise, so I will just, whatever, go above him. Uh, starting position, 
Can this be throwing knives and bleed can be? No, the dagger can be oh. thrown. It's, it's very frustrating. The dagger should be arranged. This all should be arranged, but yeah. it is not. Uh, throwing knives deal number of damage to non-adjacent baddies, so he can't be near me. And then the draw blood on the bleed is deal number of damage to target. Also place bleed effect die on target. So I need to be beside it if I'm going to bleed it. And yeah. But then I got to take the four attack dice. But I can't, I can't run away from it. It moves diagonal, so it'll always get to me wherever I am. So it's just like... No, he only, he only moves two, right? But diagonally? But like I said, your wolf... Oh, I can get to my fortune discovery and maybe get some poison in there too. But your wolf can come in and act as like a buffer. A meat shield, as long yeah, as yeah. I leave it beside and get lucky. But it, it's only for one turn. It has two health. It gets smoked. Like That's okay. That's one turn you're not getting hit. Yeah, I would just do all your attack die in first while... Oh, you can't. Ugh. What do you mean? But I, I, bones. It's all back of planes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I was thinking while well, he didn't have armor or a defense, but you can't even roll attack die on him. That's annoying. So I'm not going to roll my throwing knives. It's pointless because it's only to a non-adjacent baddie. So I have five decks. All dagger. I only have one defense. So like I can't survive with one defense. Uh, three attack. It's five decks. Nope, you picked up a defense instead of attack. Oops. Oh, maybe yep. maybe I should have done it with my like a kobold, then I could survive long enough. With but what to are hit you hitting? Throwing knives. That only does two damage. And I can use fortune discovery and two, 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 two. But two. you can't get away. Can you survive that many rounds? If I have like a kobold for a couple. And you're only rolling one defense. Yeah, like yeah. You're yeah. Four I could nerf. Day. I could nerf his attack by one, and this is rough. We can change. <clears throat> I haven't done anything. Yeah, yeah. What do you think, Mel? I know it's not me. That's all I know. Yeah, yeah, but please weigh in with some advice. <laughs> you also could re-roll your hardy die to try to get the two side or re-roll the nerfing die. Let me see what the nerf one, the most it's it can do. One, 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 one. Is it really? It's just four ones. So you can only put it down to three attack? Yeah. I also have this to give me five more health back. Yeah, and... So I'm sitting at ten... Buff HP plus body count. Damn. Yeah, it might be. Because I can get to the recoup as well, right? Which will give me health back as well. Uh, if you get that high. Well, but then that's other just than, my my how die. How many can you hit him with the with the axe collector? How so many can you do? I can do two and two. What do you mean two and two? So, so you can do two. Two, like, two damage. Okay. And then it's only takes... one per turn though. Yeah. So every oh, round. Okay, so so it down he's got to survive. Five rounds doing it that way. With one defense. And oh, but hardy. if I can get like a kobold going, that's not so bad. But only for maybe two rounds of that. That's still, that only have to survive You got that backup three. plan that could unexhaust that? Yeah, yeah. It'd be a whole different battle. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid idiot. Right. Wait, I didn't know it was coming. If you get the nerf though, that's three less attack die, that could help. But here's the problem. He rolls two defense die. So your plan of only being able to do axe collectors... Mm. He could put up defense and literally block every single one. Yeah. Over well, you and could over. you could roll attack die on him and use your attack die ah, as yes. defense. Yes, that's true. And then then you. But your... no, but I can't use the axe thing against adjacent baddies. Yep. So you're you're, you're screwed. Oh yeah. I still say I go. All right, you go. <laughs> what do you think? No. I have a heal in my backup too, so it's like you have body count, but I have this too. Yeah, yeah. It's only yeah, two heal you know. unless I'm at one. Oh, yeah, man. because he has a meat shield of the dog too. Yeah, okay, true. And go. I could I could get the backstab backup plane on two bones if I have the dog and at the same damage, time. Right? And no, no, it's just two regular damage. I think. Yeah, stab a baddie that's adjacent to both Duster and Nightshade for two damage. That's okay. As long as he doesn't have any defense, that's good. All I right. could do the cry like a wolf and uh, go drop two true damage to put on targetable on me too, for a round maybe make me survive if I'm. All right, we and have then plans. After that, then but I think I could just four attack dice on me. I could die in like one shot by this guy. That's the problem. You could. Oh, I have buff HP, though. Yeah, Never mind. you have buff HP. All right, I go first. Five dice. Choose a non-tyrant baddie on the battle mat and place it on any position adjacent to you. Yeah, that's not what I want to do. <laughs> All right, so I didn't get bones on anything, but two defense is nice. I did bleed. I wish it did two damage plus bleed. Yeah. Oh, I'd bleed him for I sure. will start the bleed process. That sucks. I was hoping I'd at least get one or two damage there. Because then uh, that would start it a little faster and it could last longer. But I could hold off for a turn 
But then that's another but turn. Then you could get a bone, right? Yep. And then I totally uh, miss. Yeah. Okay. So that is that. Yep. So these attack die do nothing. Correct. That's unfortunate. Let's <laughs> hoping for some backup. He'll go. Bleed one. There we go. Off, off to the and races. What does he roll? Four uh, attack, four. two defense. Okay. Four attack, two defense. Two, three. It hits you for three and you have two defense. Only one. That's good. So two damage and a buff HP. Yeah. And he got no defense, only bones. That's oh, pretty he has amazing. no backup plan. But he bleeds, right? Yeah, and he bleeds yeah, I did already. No, he bleeds you. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's bad. I forgot about that. But nothing I can really do about that. I'll, I'll roll. That was pretty good roll, actually. Uh, I'm still at full HP. Right? Full, full health, yeah. Could yeah. you have... Sh oh, you're going to do it this round, actually, with your bleed now. So I will go bleed. It doesn't take your HP buff, no? No, that's true damage. So it bypasses defense and buff. Uh, okay. But now one defense. Now you want to move for your throwing? Yeah, I guess. Just back one, I think. Because he can just go diagonal anyway. It does not matter. No, but you could put him into a corner where then it would matter next time or yeah, something. Yeah, true. How can I make him? Can't really. There's no way to do that. No, oh, not this man, though. No. Yeah, because even when I move down here, even here, you just go, oh no. Yeah, because you just move diagonal, get me. There's no way to do that. No way to get away from him. No. But I will just go over one. Uh, defense, throwing knives. And he bleeds at the beginning of his turn. Not no, his, this turn, is his yet. turn. I already did mine. So a one. Sure. I'll apply the throwing knives. Didn't get the two, but it's something. You might just be able to survive with hopefully defense. If I could and buff. get away from him, I could, but I that's that's I can't, so it sucks. But your dog your wolf is gonna come this out now. Uh now his turn. Bleed. Down to six health. Uh roll him up. No defense. Two, two defense. Two, four, six, four, six seven. seven. Jesus. Seven attack? Yeah, you have one defense, you're only taking six. So four buff HP, two health. Oh my god! <laughs> so I have like one more round left to me if that. Meet shield, meet shield. Uh, okay, uh, end of the round. Uh, woo! Nightshade's in. <laughs> yeah, nightshade. Uh, okay, she has to go in a melee position. You can go right here. How does the attack? The strongest. <laughs> We're tied yeah, right so, now. So you choose. It won't be me because no. uh, Duster or Nightshade will go first. To attack. You can really do anything, Not you, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, when Once I go down bleed, to one HP. Can... When yeah. I go down to one yeah, HP. Yeah, I was going to tell you that. Oh, yeah. man. Uh, double bones. Great. <laughs> Doesn't do anything anyway. Uh, Duster. So you'll lose one. I lose one. On yeah, my turn, I'll pop this to go to full HP of five. Yeah. Now you can move away. Uh, or I go beside. And but then he'll attack you instead of this. Yeah. Then that'll give you one more turn. Yeah, true. Because right you're, now you're just going to play this game with him. But then I don't roll any bones where I could do a backstab for two damage. Okay. It's the risk. And at least I can knock away the defense. Doesn't matter if you attack. Yeah. It doesn't it? Doesn't matter. But oh, yeah, yeah. I'll just hide. Uh, okay, one defense. One. Okay, uh, he'll go bleed one. And then four attack, one yep. defense on the wolf. Kills the wolf yeah. and gets and an gets extra defense. defense. But that's okay. Now your turn. You'll bleed one. Mm -mm. Yep. Oh, sorry. Round four. Or no, no, no. I'm sorry. It's not round four. Yeah, it is. Why not? He, yeah, he, he went. just went. It is. Round oh yeah, four. it is round four. But okay. Because the dog is your dog. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's exhausting. <clears throat> okay. Couldn't you move up, attack, and then move away if you saw Dex left? No, you only get to move before unless you have some kind of skill die that lets you move after attacking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to choose all your movement before you roll your dice in this game. It's yeah, it kind of sucks. I wish you could be more flexible, but Picket has a die that lets them do it. There's also uh, loot in the game that can let you do it. But 
Yeah, that sucks because I don't have to waste decks to get up there. But oh, a nugget. But to get, you're gonna get up where? Oh. I don't really care. Yeah, it just you... sucks because I needed the bones. I wish I just went in and took it. But like, how much did that hit for? Like five or six? Four. Uh, four. Yeah, it would be dead, right? No, 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 yeah. no, it'd be one away. No, you would no, because you would have bled at the beginning yeah, of your turn. Yeah. Boom. One, two. Yeah, I don't know whether this is gonna work out. So I bled. Mm -hmm. Uh. Pickett's the guy for this. I'll reroll my defense. Oh, I see what I could do. What? Place it on a position adjacent to you. Uh, yeah. See, I should have did this before. Oh, my God. Darn, monkey is too much. Okay, so I'm going to use my harpoon pistol. Put him adjacent to me. Oh, now you can outrun him. Yeah, I wasn't thinking. Because now it takes him two spaces to move out? Yeah. No, he'll just move like normal, but he just tries to get out of there. I don't know if you can put him on a position like that. I don't know if you're allowed. Oh, um... But I think you can with skills and stuff, but... Uh, let's see. During land battles, Gearlocks may not intentionally move into a mech starting position, so to Gearlock find itself via an encounter or value skill, its first move position cannot be a mech starting position. There is something... In baddie movement, I think it yeah. says it. Baddie. Gearlock moving and targeting. In a battle, baddie movement and targeting. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, all other baddies cannot enter these positions intentionally. If a non-mech baddie is displaced into one, it must use its first move position to move out of a mech starting position. It may remain in attack if already adjacent to an opposing unit. Yeah, you can do it. Sweet. Okay. Just intentionally it won't move there to try to get you. Uh, okay, so did we, oh, this is my turn, mm -hmm. uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, you're going to How many good. moves yeah. does it have? Two. Unless I want to stop and just roll a defense first. Yeah, I think so. Boom. If I can get that fortune discovery, there's a chance I could put some poison in there, but then it, it's, yeah, maybe, maybe. I just need, I should have taken that other one. That's okay. Uh, so he will go. Lead. Down to four left. I don't know if you'll be able to outlive him. Uh, one, two. Okay. Okay. Round five. I know. It's surviving in the thing to uh, the fatigue rounds. Yeah. When you're Lead. both taking two. Two or uh, one. So it can move diagonally. Boom, boom. Yeah. So it could go boom, boom. It can get me this turn. So no, I don't think so. Yes, it can. No, if you go here. No, because he can move diagonal, so you can go one, two. Yep. Bang, bang. He's on my on my heels. Yeah, you can get him anywhere he is. All right. Um, yeah, there's nothing I can do because I needed the fortune discovery like earlier in the battle. Uh, okay. Yeah, I can't run away. Yeah, my backup plan is kind of... Oh, two true damage. Nope, that puts me to death. Yep, I need one more health. And I could maybe roll the cry wolf thing to go untargetable. But that still doesn't last enough rounds. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, too much. Wasted all that stuff for nothing. Uh, okay, I will just... There's a chance he could miss. Mm -hmm. Three attack, one defense. Uh, so either way, all his defense is gone. I only get one defense. Uh, that's not enough. Now he... True damage down to three. Mm -hmm. My turn. Hits for five. Oh, yeah. And I'm dead. So what we would have, what we would have gotten if this one... Uh, uh, two training points, an unlocked trove loot, and a progress. We don't need the progress, but the two training points were kind of what we were hunting for. But because we were greedy earlier, this came back to hurt us. And now we know yeah, don't put that the in. Mountain or Molnar Hill is not a good, a good one to see because you have no option to get out of it. You're, you're forced into all that. 
Yeah. So we fit. George is back. Uh oh. <laughs> What's going on? How did everyone lose their trove loot and is out of the fight? Oh, it was one on one. Oh, it was a one on one encounter. Yeah, it, we did play dangerous darts. We won, but then we had to fight the gorilla with mountain or a Molnor hill. And uh, we didn't have enough skill dice to really do anything to the bleed and dodge guy here. But I did get him down from nine health to three. There's that. It's yeah, something. there is that. But that's why I had to use the loot to try to stay alive. We were trying for the extra training points, George. Uh, we're on day six, uh, so we're going to go to day seven, probably just fight Barnacle now. Yeah, so we don't lose our HP, uh, right? It is technically a battle, but you guys weren't in the battle. I would say no, but I definitely <laughs> lost all mine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, And you yeah. chose Duster for the one versus one? We thought because I had five buff HP, five health, I uh, also had um, Nightshade to act as a deterrent. We had bleed. I, I had the bleed, Duster's dagger, and the throwing knives. That was the best we had. Oh, and I had the... Um, the harpoon to pull this guy off the mat so that on the uh, mic position so I could run away from him for a turn even though he's diagonal. So we just had like thought I had ways to delay. Five buff HP and still lost? Yes. And, 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 the, and the Cibron kelp stuff. I went from one HP to full and still lost. Yeah, I only have five HP so it's like... Yeah. Yeah, nothing I could have done there. Do you think know. we need to get more training points before fighting this thing? We have, don't have a choice, do we? What do you mean? We have one more day. Oh, one more day. Because we're about to go to day seven. We need to find him on day eight. At least we don't have to fight that thing again. I think we're fine. Yeah, we don't have Mountain or Molnor Hillstone there. Yeah, but you, you do you need more health? Tantrum would have wiped the floor with it. That was the debate you No, he for. wouldn't have. Nah, see, we would it, it has dodge, George. He can't use attack dice. So he literally only could use his um, throwing, axes. throwing axes. And this guy rolls defense, which would block the throwing axes. Yeah, that was the debate we had. And he only has um, one fortune discovery. And and he only has five, uh, six health, four buff HP, and no heal loot. No, and he's minus one here. He didn't oh, and minus one yeah. there, yes. So, so I have five, five HP. Five of four is nine. I have my body five count. Five body count. Yeah. You could have maybe nerfed for one attack die on him, but you saw this guy. He rolled like twos Crazy. and ones like nuts. He hit like one hit with seven health. Tantrum would not have won. Get out of here. We can do the rematch <laughs> <Rewind>. right now. <laughs> Let's yeah, do we the probably rematch. could. I call, I call shenanigans. <laughs> I just think none of us you, have the good. Oh, I could cripple, but for one though. For well, one attack die, yeah, we he's thought still rolling that, three but... over and over. I think the, the like a... Uh, um, uh, like cobalt. a worm or like a like, I think like a worm or like a wolf if I if had you that had some, right? yeah if we were a little better off but it was kind of not the right time to see this guy yeah but now I know never take that option that puts Mount Nermal and Hill in no, depends if you have Pickett it's fine Pickett can smash <laughs> this gorilla yeah but he also needs to use the shields to survive yeah four attack dice can break through his shields before you get a chance yeah. to really do anything yeah it's, it's a tough choice uh, if you had your recovery and all that stuff going yeah like the automatic heal so this guy goes to the bottom of the queue again mm -hmm. we saw him earlier we put him at the bottom for uh, good reason for okay. good reason so automatically Nightshade gets one health that's our own little built in thing uh, so obviously we don't get reward. We go to recovery. Uh, what, are we, what are we doing here? I have, I've forced to uh, heal up my five HP. I'll, are we going to the boss? We can. Because I don't need to scout if we're going to the boss. Do I give you back your fortunate discovery now? Or? During the battle, use on another KO'd gear lock to revive them with three HP. I wasn't in the battle. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I think you're allowed to use stuff like that even if you're on the side. Ah. Damn it. I don't <laughs> I think so because that. it wasn't my turn. That might have been just it. what we needed to survive another two rounds uh -huh. only because the, the bleed plus the fatigue will almost. I know, but well, he would have hit you once. Well, had we been able died. to, I would have given you this, both of them. Yeah. He would have given you the re-roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and the fortune, fortune discovery. discovery. <laughs> now we know. Prep someone up. If we ever see Mountain or Mono Hill go in, just build them. Immediately. All the loot, give it to that person who are thinking ahead is going to go in and fight the gorilla. Okay, but that's a dirty. That's the first time I've ever seen that one. You don't seem powerful enough for boss fight. What day is it? How many days you've got? Uh, we're about to go into day seven. We only have eight to do it. So we literally have one more chance to do another encounter. Uh, it is just Barnacle, but we are playing on Legendary. Should we try to get some more training points? Oh, and we also have Persistent um, uh, for the battle. Reduce HP stat of three and four by two. So they're coming in at one health and two health. Which makes those ones kind of nerfed. I think we're, we we already had the Tyrant card come up, that one, where we had to fight six of the, the tentacles. Yeah. And we smoked we it. it. But I said, dude, to get lucky that they always came in right in front of us. So maybe maybe we do one more uh, one I more think encounter. one more day would yeah, be very helpful day, but then we're for only have you one and shot. your health. 
Uh, so is recovery done for everybody? Did you want to do anything else? Yeah, well, if we're going on, I'll scout. Question, George. What is? It, what do you think? Uh, they have buff HP still, but they weren't in that battle. Do you think they have to clean up their buff HP? Because it was only like a one-on-one -on -one fight. So I don't have any buff HP And it left. wasn't a battle card. Yeah, it was. Oh, it was? Yeah, right there. Oh, it was. Uh, so is this one with the battle in the top? I have a feeling that they have to clean up, but... Uh, okay, well, but we'll, I could we'll wait be wrong. for that because there's... Uh, nope. No. Nice. Keep the buff HP. Keep the buff HP? Sweet. Well, okay. do they get to keep it or they don't get to keep it? Yeah, buff HP would stay. I think so Perfect. too. Perfect. Okay, so if we're going to the next... If we're going to play one more day, then I'll scout. Not 100% sure. We'll just rule it that way. I was thinking the same thing. It's kind of unfair. They never I know. also think going to the next day, because we're not going into day seven. Seven is 21. It's only two. No, oh, yeah, there's no baddie points. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay. Doesn't well, matter. no, no, no. But if we do an encounter, there is a queue of seven so just 21. 21 well that's only 21 but it probably brings a five point baddie with it yeah true <laughs> and it probably could be mechs which could be like three more yeah adding in some what do you want to do i'm fine with whatever you just i do me. think that we need one more health. like rob needs more health we do have the defibrillator so it is a revive uh for the tyrant battle I would I like, say it's worth the risk. I would like so wait, this is a campaign, right? I would like to get no, it's no, not it's a, not campaign. a campaign. Oh damn. It. You chose only, we're only playing the shorter one. Oh, yeah, sorry. George thinks one more fight too. I think so too. Okay, one more fight. So I'll scout. Three. Three. So you didn't get to see the twenty pointer. Uh, but you do get to see another one. It's our equipment, Kobold Collector. Three health, one attack, one defense. He could come in with two extra health. He could come in with one extra attack. He could come in with a two higher on his any die. He does attack the two weakest. But he's melee, so he has to get beside two people. Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. Okay. I'm just joking. That's fine. I don't think we'll All ever right. see him. But... Do you want to scout? Yeah, what are you doing? Are you going to heal that one HP? <laughs> you have buff. Remember, when you use the yeah. body count thing, he's you gone. have to use it all in one shot. I know. That's why I don't want to use it. I'm going to wait. You can't okay. just use, like, one. 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 <laughs> I don't even Aww. want to look. Whatever. It is Aww. a Minkin Monkey ranged. He could become untargetable on his backup plan. One attack, one defense, three health. He's fine. Beast type. He's, He's fine. probably the easiest, so cute. cutest one. No, oh, it's so cute. They're all cute ones, man. He's cute until they have the one mind going, and he's one of the multiple beasts on the board, and they're all hitting, because he can always hit. They're all going to hit Duster. It's cool. Whatever. All right. Uh, all right. So let's day do it. seven. Another blue one. No? No. The Ebonite Doorway. Oh. oh. The Ebonite Doorway. Is this good or bad? It radiates light beneath the waves, like the gateway to paradise. Legends speak of the, these doorways. Some, they say, lead to treasure. Others to locations beyond imagination. While well, everyone in Daylor claims to have seen at least one in their life, the variety of stories about them, see, uh, them cement the fact that nobody has actually encountered an Ebonite Doorway. In the darkest corners of Daylor, some seasoned adventurers even claim that the door appears and disappears throughout the realm. This one is down deep, and we're running out of breath fast. Yes, I only have four decks because I took, like, a cobalt. Does Justin only have four decks or five? Four. Uh, four. four. <laughs> All because I took, like, a cobalt, man, trying to help <laughs> oh, out. Oh, man, we're in trouble. Uh, so it is water. If you can flip the map, uh, we're definitely sure choosing can. water. So first option is peaceful. They're all peaceful, but it's a water. Uh, hold your breath and fill your pockets. So the first one has some loot with question marks. Each gear lock may choose how much loot or trove loot they want to try to obtain. Max of four. Once a decision is made, gear locks will each roll two defense dice for each loot and three defense dice for each trove loot all at once. In three rolls or fewer, all dice must show a non-bones result. Reroll any bone reroll only bones results. If no bones remain, draw obtain trove loot uh, loot and trove loot. Loot area limit applies. If any bones remain after three rolls, no loot, no trove loot is awarded for that gear lock. Encounter success is achieved no matter the outcome. Or the other option is, my lungs aren't small, I'm respiratorily challenged. <laughs> and we just go for a straight training point. Uh, by peering into the depths, you spot an inscription etched into the sunken doorway, revealing knowledge of ages past. So we can just roll out of this with three freaking training points. That's the one we're doing. But we could also get a few loot in the yeah, process. It doesn't matter. Man, the next fight is the boss. It does not matter. It does. We could it get does. some roll extra dice. Like just Heal. playing devil's advocate, I want to go over the training. But thinking about the loot... Very minimal chance we're opening that trove loot in one reward phase unless we all just attack one of them. Uh, but the loot we could get uh, could be heal, could be we've seen revive, could be re-rolling dice, could be adding roll two extra attack dice, including uh, discarding your decks, could be 
Just something good for the battle. I just want to make George proud and take Dex. <laughs> all right, fine. Let's go for three. Yeah, let's do all the training points. Yes. Uh, so progress thing. we don't need. Three training points. Uh, I'm going for Vibroblade, which actually does. Uh, it's like a uh, die can roll that just does attacks. Uh, could do up to three. But the great part is it gets one extra damage against Krelm. Oh, that's good. It can slice through uh, Krelm baddies better. That's for one. Uh, then I am going to go an HP. <coughs> and I Bless you. think... Thank you. So I have five decks. Three, four, five. I'm going to go one more dex. Yeah. Yeah, you're good. Okay, I'm going dex. Oh, HP. Get that HP. For one. So I have six dex. And then I'm going to take... Uh, only time will tell, and under the old Zelfie, and we'll see what we need based on. Go ahead, Justin. I'm gonna train for attack first <laughs> with four. Don't worry. The You're dex... four attack dice. You want more attack? Yeah, yeah. The, the dex is coming. Don't worry. You want to go for your extra rage so you can? Yeah, maybe. No. Nope. Okay. Right, oh, you that. got it. Yeah. I didn't think you would. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, I will then. Dex. 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 Yeah, 100%. Dex. At least yeah. one dex, maybe two. Uh, I'm thinking both, but I also... Hold on, five yeah. dex, that just lets you roll all your attack dice on a turn. No defense, no skills. All right, let's do six. That's how you got to look at it. Let's do six. Six dex? All six. right, we're, I'm at six dex, too. Six dex. George, Teamwork. I did it for you, buddy. <laughs> no, you did it for us. <laughs> us. And, and two more dex, he said. Yeah, I remember yeah. they're on a 10 or 15 second delay, so <laughs> perfect. Awesome, George. Awesome. All, all right, right. Uh, what'd you do? I did a dex... Uh, only time will oh, tell. Oh, finally some selfie. heal. And, oh, heal and buff. Yes. Wish we had that earlier. No, that wasn't sorry. in the battle. No, we're we fine. Help I know, you. I know, I know. Yeah, we were a duster off for solo. That was that was a bad choice, but oh, but I can do my recovery now. <laughs> All right, so that is gone. Now recovery. Now you can do it. Mine as well. So I'm going to uh, heal up Nightshade this time because I'm uh, duster is at full, so I'll get two HP there. I'm healing myself. And what are you doing? Nothing. What? You're good with that loot. Yeah. Defibrillator is very important, I think. Yeah, and then the other one is heal for two. Okay. Which could be helpful. Beautiful. All right. Day eight. Final chance. It's all or nothing. Dun, dun, dun. The title bout. So, uh, start rolling D6s. So, the first guy is going in lane one. Uh, it is tentacle number one. One health, one attack. And he goes at oh, initiative three. The second... Going in position six, two health, two initiative. The next one, uh, going in lane four, number three. Don't forget, three and four come in differently. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah two less in. HP, so he's only coming in at one. Uh, he has, uh, where is it? He two has less. Um, two less. Reduce HP stat of tentacle three and four by two. It's not down to two, by oh, two. Oh, by two. So down to one. Awesome. And he's going at three. So after this one, and the last one for now, uh, going in position two, is number four coming in at two health. Got it. And going at initiative of four. Whoops. Where is that? Four. Okay. And then a uh, party of three, add oh. tentacles five to seven to the queue. Never mind. So they are added to the queue. Then it says next, add barnacle to the bottom of the queue. Okay, and then tentacles af added after round one are placed on the bottom of the animator. Barnacle moves to the top. Tentacles do not roll tyrant die. Yeah, and he tyrant has two to the deep. At the end of each round, if Barnacle is on the battle mat, we'll worry about that when he's on the mat. Mm -hmm. But uh, Barnacle would uh, leave if, oh, sorry. If he's on the battle mat and there are still tentacles in the battle queue, he will leave the battle mat to the bottom of the battle queue, resetting his HP, and will not re-enter the battle for the next round. On his tyrant die, if he rolls this, uh, he could pull the target, the strongest opposing adjacent unit to a tentacle, place that target on any available crown starting position. So basically pulling him into the water, player's choice on that. Or he could uh, recuperate, withdraw any injured tentacle from the battle mat and place it back in battle queue. And these ones are not injured. They were, their stat is reduced. So their ceiling is down. The so the cool thing is, so George and I have the same idea where I can. Sushi time, axis plus body I count. I can hit and then throw Yeah, you're going to smoke this, like, yeah. no problem. But my body count's already up. I have five. throwing knives for the same, uh, I think, can throwing knives, can I apply it to a separate? 
Deal number of damage to non-adjacent baddie. Yeah, so I can yeah, do I can a throwing do knife plus attack. Oh, so we target. can clear this board right now. Like, yeah. I can kill two, you can kill two, Mel can kill one. Sushi time. Like, yeah. And remember, every time you kill, you're getting your My body health count's up. already up, But man. it's full now, but I'm just saying, don't be afraid to use it if you lose a few HP. Four. Four. Five. Whoa. Ooh, look like at Tantrum. Just gonna roll my focus. Three. All right, I will start. Uh, I want to get rid of the shock guy, and I can go anywhere on the mat, because that's my innate. I think you're better off leaving one at the end of the round. Oh, so that so not everybody come in? So the last three come on the board without yeah. Barnacle. Yeah, I agree. Oh, that'd be so awesome. Yeah, that would be pretty good. <laughs> so, um... But, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I'm going to go here. I kind of don't want to make it too easy. So Tantrum, I think going, I think you're I'll, going after the big big hardy one over here? They're going after the little weenie tentacle? I think I should, because then I can throw... And it just does two straight damage, yeah, right? Yeah, so you yeah. could just kill one that's two HP anyway. Do you want me to go here in case you don't get this guy? You don't want him to knock something away from one of us? He is the most important guy. He's rolling two attack dice. All the rest roll one. If you kill him, I'll just use one dex to move. It's fine. Ah, uh, yes. So that you can... Yeah, about wreckage corner. and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready? Or I could start on this side and throw that way. No, it's fine. Then no, you're think... already on that side. If something comes <clears throat> on yep. that side, it's we good don't to have cover. to jump. Yeah, to prevent wreckage. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Tantrum. What are you doing? Yeah, I'm going to roll my defense. Okay. And five attack die. Uh, yeah, I don't need... Looking for bones, man. Why not? Yeah, I don't need... A, I don't you need... could hold on and then pop the axe collector after. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. you got for, uh, fortune discovered too, so... Yeah, yeah. Like, All right. well, I, don't, I think we're like over. I one damage tentacle's got nothing on you. <laughs> yeah. I don't need the cripple or the like a kobo right now. Nope. No. So. Well, yeah, I would wait till one of the bigger guys come in. Yeah, yeah. All right, he dead. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Whoa. So you went and... all in on that one. Yeah. That guy's <laughs> gone. Oh, I'll move this up by one. My body count's already full. Okay. And <coughs> do I throw? <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Why not? Who do I? Who do I kill? That one? Yeah, because then we can take He has no target. Through. But do we want to He leave? has no target. Oh. He'll roll a d6 and could go wherever, and it might not be where you can hit anybody, so he might wreck the raft. All right, let's throw it. Oh, but then, like, oh, then maybe we just leave this guy on the board. Mm -hmm. we yeah. don't, we're not leaving? Are yeah, we yeah, leaving yeah. somebody? Yeah, so then that the boss doesn't come in yet. All right, I'm going to throw axes at this guy. Okay. okay. Two damage. Body count can't go any higher. Okay. But does that count for <laughs> this as well as attack? Yeah, that's an attack. Uh, no, 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 that's not you. You already you only attack once. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Okay, that's gotcha. like a, just an effect of dealing damage. Nice, okay. Uh, Dusta, mm -hmm. yeah, no point in using any of the f any of the fun stuff yet. Uh, yeah. so we'll go one defense, three attack dice. Quick, hi, kids are running wild. Bernardo, how's it going? Hello. Put those kids uh, under control. <laughs> Give them too many bones to Take play. care of them. <laughs> sure. Well, you definitely kill it. Yeah, hit it for three. I get a bone. Yeah. Sweet. Give you that. Another dead tentacle. Okay, so uh, I will then... Start some songs? Start playing some, strumming some music for us? Yeah, it's getting kind of quiet yeah. in here. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You guys have all the buff HP, too. Yeah, yeah. We, we got this. It's like no chance. This... Well, the gorilla was already... At least we're playing on Legendary, so it's not completely laughable when we smoke this... Yeah, yeah it's everyone's full right now, though, correct? Yeah. Uh, yep. If you can hurt me so we can get the wolf in, it would be fun. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> we don't need it. I can roll die, and I just don't need to apply them also. You can start working this up so you can control, uh, yeah, a, th a three just for fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, they're not, they're not the same. Oh, that's right. They're not crown. Yeah, that one. Not, yeah, never that mind. That one, if I did, anymore. maybe I would roll it for focus. Yeah, That one, because I don't need that one. Sure. Uh, I will roll one defense. I will roll So none of us have defense, eh? Just one? This is completely different. Those are all, these are all offensive people. Mel's... Mo he, he, yeah. I think Mel's should be more defense. She was supposed to be playing songs to heal us, buff us, defend yeah, herself, clean off poisons time. and stuff. But we haven't need them in this playthrough. I want yeah. to see Stanza running in the other uh, Too Many Bones encounters and stuff with some of those baddies and things. I think it'll be more okay. interesting. Okay, I'm rolling attack die just to get my tune-up a little bit going, but I'm not going to apply sure. them. I just want some bones, which I didn't even get any. Yeah, defense. Okay, I got a defense. Woo. Okay, I'm hey, not going to apply those. That's going to be necessary right now. And I'll take right the... Um, One focus? Yeah, sorry. I'm like trying to figure out which way this goes. 
like that. Yeah, put these like up here or something so they're away from like your exhausted dice. Sure. Okay, so I have four focus now. Okay. That's all. That's it? Just four? Yeah, but that's why I don't even need it yet. Uh, so this guy, one attack, one defense. Uh, he has a gear lock to attack. Uh, oh, he rolled bones. So first, uh, it attacks you. That's why I said, we'll see what happens. I knew this, we wouldn't be able to control it. But first, right. it attacks you. No, uh, I have defense. So yeah, it blocks the defense, but the careless hurts itself. <laughs> so I should just apply it. No, it's okay. It's fine. Who gives a crap? We're fine. We got this. We're crushing it. Uh, so this one's gone. And this die leaves. End of the round. Uh, we find out where this guy goes. Uh, in place number three with five health. Oh, he's right five. in front of me. Nice. Five on five. Sorry, five on three. three. Yep, on no. three. Oh, he's dead. And it comes into the bottom of the oh, queue. Oh, shoot, sorry. Then okay. the next one is coming in number four oh, with good. six health. Good spread out. Good. Bottom of the queue. Oh, and it's seven. And seven. Seven health. Shock one and submerge uh, is coming in on position one oh, up here. Oh, man. Oh, he so he's got his, here. yeah. Uh, okay. And now Barnacle coming in at the top of the queue, uh, but he will be going in position number two over here. Oh, okay. oh, you guys can smoke Barnacle. Come on. But we'll clear the mat. We gotta clear him. Even those tentacles will still be hanging on the raft after we kill him. We gotta, we gotta kill him. Kill do it everybody. for you, George. Yep. R real gear locks, clear cues. Yep. We gotta do it. We all got right. this. So we got some tall looking tentacles that are all towering over us now. The real battle begins. Three yeah. attack dice, two attack dice, two attack dice, one attack die, plus there's, a center die. There's nothing stopping us from just killing him, right, and winning? Or do we have to kill the other guys first? Uh, like, there's no... There is the house rule. Yes, we yes, We must clear the queue. That is, but there's no rule saying we have to get all his tentacles no. before we can attack him, right? Uh, okay. Let's read. So now that he's on the mat, he's got two to the deep. This is his only skill. At the end of each round, if Barnacle is on the battle mat and there are still tentacles in the battle queue, Barnacle will leave the battle to the bottom of the battle queue, resetting his HP, okay. and will not re-enter the battle for the next round. So how that works is on his Tyrant die, he could recuperate, where he'll withdraw an injured tentacle from the battle mat, placing it back in the queue. Which is good that he's going first. Yeah, so that shouldn't happen. Oh, so this... But the tentacle wrap thing could pull one of us into the water. That's the only thing. And it is target the strongest opposing unit adjacent to a tentacle, which right now... Just Mel and I? I think we're all at the same HP. Yep. Yeah, we all are the same. So we can just choose who gets pulled in the water. The buff doesn't count? Nope. No, no, no. Separate. Also, um, I don't think we should attack Barnacle yet. Because so Barn we, if we... If well, he, he's going to go first He's anyway. going to leave. If he gets damaged, he leaves and comes back at full. So no. who's he attacking here? I say you because you have defense up. Sure. But I could also take a hit to it's bring only one. The, the wolf out. No, it's fine. One is fine. Unless you want the wolf. No, hit. I want the wolf. Okay. Let's, let's, let's have some bring fun. On the wolf. Let's have Nightshade join us in the battle for fun. Okay. It hits you for two. So first, it will apply oh, defense sorry. to itself. Yes. Okay. Then, it will hit me for two. Okay. Then, uh, it will apply its uh, pulling the strong... Now, I'm not the strongest when this when this applies. So, it's between you two. Who is it going to put in the water? And you can choose whichever position, but the only choices are five or six. And it does cost you two decks to get out. And that is the, you can't do anything on your turn until you get out of the water. Uh, it should be me. Do you have extra decks there? I have five. Or I have six, just like you. Yeah. I think we're all at six decks. But, but I have I more attack pictures. dice. Okay. I think, right? And I have like a cobalt, which will help me if I get it, which I should. If yeah, you do will that, help, especially then if I you're can... taking like five attack dice. If you well, do it, I'm then gonna I can... move. He's You'll gonna just move right in. here. Yeah, yeah. If so. you do that, that's good because then I can use my decks to play the songs now that we've started. Tantrum. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to go here? Or do you want to go here? No, over there. I gotta, yeah, stay, gotta, stay, I gotta stay over there. I gotta stay over there. Plunk. You're in the water. <laughs> oh no! Sorry, that was recuperate. That wasn't the heart one. Oh. Sorry, I, I saw the tentacles and got confused, but it was the one that doesn't matter. Oh, perfect. Withdraw no injured. There's no injured one on the mat. Sorry. Whoa. Yeah, it's the heart. It's this one, and it only is on two sides. Oh, three sides. 50, 50, 50, 50. Okay. okay. Sorry. Yeah. All right. Never mind. Scratch that. At least we discussed it. And yeah, if we If the don't. possibility comes up. <laughs> All right. Tantrum. I should move. Why? Um, Why? You're that, right beside both of them. I know, but I can't kill both. <laughs> then you you got to work on one. I'm gonna. Yeah, I can just move down one and work on the bottom one. The other guy is going to move into the... No, he's just going to attack the raft. I would try to kill the shock one or wipe this or one off the board. Or it'll come on our side and then attack the raft. Well, no, they both have submerged, so they roll a die and will randomly go to a position we can't yeah. predict where they'll go. And if nobody's in where they go, they will start hitting the raft. 
Yeah. How much is how much health does that first seven, seven and five? Can I do it with five attack dice? You can maybe nerf one of their attacks, whoever your target is. Maybe if you He's worried about the shock, right? Is that what yeah. you're worried about? But if you roll all those oh I see, your body count and your axe would still be left. But you can roll hardy and attack with five. You might miss on the hardy, but but you can roll hardy. And, oh, did you just say that or did you read No, that? I read his Oh, note. okay. I was yeah, like, yeah, oh. I'm reading George. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm going to. Attack. I would stay there and fight. I, I yeah, wouldn't, yeah. Like, I'm why definitely rolling and... the attack and the hardy. But I see where you might want to not yeah. risk being there. Yeah. But how it works is he's going to look and go, oh, no one's home. He'll roll a die. He could stay where he is if he rolls uh, one. But if he rolls anything else, he's going to move to that position. And if it's full, he'll start going down the queue. So he might get there anyway. He'll most likely end up in five <laughs> is what I would predict. All right. But he's just going to crush the raft? If you're not if home, yeah, no he would crush, attack, the, he would yes. hit the, he would roll his three attack dice if he got no bones. Or uh, as long as he didn't get all bones, he would hit the raft. Mm. Yeah, I'll stay. That's fine. Five attack dice and you got buff HP. like a cobalt. Remember you can power cell and re-roll dice too. Yeah. So you might want to re-roll your cool I got my axe collector. So actually, you hit for six? Yeah. She's down to one health. Four, five, six. Did you want to re-roll like the one you with have, the bones And here? you have that. That's what I'm saying. You can use your re-rolls right now. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Only You can use it twice. Battle. All right. So yeah, I'll re-roll. Okay, so you got six here. I'll re-roll the axes. On well, you can this pick two, roll right? Two. Yeah, but I have to roll them together. Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah. Okay. Well, I got my... You got the bone again on the attack dive? Yeah. Wow. You can do it one more time. Yeah, I could. Yeah. You could re-roll... We're not, we're not, I'm not pressuring you, but... You could re-roll, just... you could re-roll <laughs> one are... of the ones with it. You could re-roll any two, so you could, like, re-roll those two now and toss that loot. What if I get two give, bones? Give me the loot. <sighs> I know. If, yeah, I know. But if this... you got two bones, then you were going to not get, the, get Either it way, anyways. he's not dead. Oh! <laughs> a one and a bone. Same result. How do you keep rolling so many bones and attack dice? I don't know. All right, it's so one he's away. down to one health. Uh, that sucks. Can you do something there? You throw something over wait, there? Wait, wait, yeah, yeah. But he has his dagger that he gets. Oh, yeah. Out. We all go before these. Yes, I can so totally this, take him out. So this, are you going to attack we're this? We're getting no? super scared. I'm going to do that to get the... No, we're not going to have poison. Don't worry. No, are you going to attack this guy? Sure. Is he going to die? I can't tell I'll you use, that um, as we just saw. I'm going to use my last throwing knife axe to put two damage here. Sure. I'm going to pop helpful. my fortunate discovery so to get three more back. So he's down to, uh, technical six is down to four health. Perfect. Yeah, That's more manageable for me, for sure. Okay. Uh, duster. Uh, duster, duster, duster. Yeah, let's remove Oh, wait, oh yeah, it's not the beginning of the round. Never mind. So I'm going to try to do my throwing knives to hit this guy and kill him for you. Thanks. Uh, then I will try to bleed the boss man. Yeah. Um, he is a crown, so Vibroblade does work extra one extra damage on what it rolls. Uh, I do want a defense, and then I will throw two attack dice in there. And you have that many decks? Six decks. Yeah, nice. And I don't move. I debate moving, but I'm beside a guy who only rolls one attack die. I'm okay with that. So, uh, I will throw the blade, uh, the throwing knives, to kill that guy. Thanks. No problem. So we don't want to leave anybody that's damaged. Yeah, because then he might roll his die, bring that guy back out of play, he comes back in full health. So we got to clean up. if you want to kill this. I will apply a bleed to the boss. I got one. Okay. Uh, Vibro Blade, of course, uh, did not hit there. So it's got to be something. Uh, so I'll take that back. I'll do two attack to him so we can remove the defense and the uh, one health. And I get a one defense die up in my slot. That's good. That's an efficient roll. Done my turn. All right, stands up. What do you got going on over there? Kill the. How do I have that? Is that from last time? We've already had one round. This is this is round mm -hmm. two actually. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you. I was Whoopsie. like, how do I have this? We're about to move it up. Okay. So I'm going to start with. Kill the guy in front of you. Oh, don't heal yeah, me yeah, for yeah. two. I just need one heal. No, no, no. I know. I know. <laughs> don't heal so us at I all. So I want to do. Kill the guy in front of you. I yeah, get rid of the guy who does poison two attacks for two dice. No, I want to do this for the poison in case I miss. Oh, ah, true. So I'm going to use one dex if I can find number one. Siege of carry on. To to carry on. intro. Yep. That one, one which does focus. cleanse. That's P is for party, right? P is for party, so none of yep. us will take poison. 
Um, or weaken or, or, weaken, any, any that or any of stuff. that. Stun, all that stuff protects us from negative effects like that. So we don't really care about the party heal right now? No. Only if it's one, that's fine. It's just one. don't heal me for two. Okay, no. Don't, okay. don't, don't risk it. It's two decks. We want the wolf. You guys have four buff. Um, yeah. Okay, so party heal everyone for one. Okay. Which is only you, I think. <laughs> So tantrum sitting at six. Yeah. At full One, health. Two, three, four, five, six. I'm six. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna crush this. We have so, so much two health decks. and revives and all this stuff. So then I have my four decks <laughs> of three. Oh, I could do one more dex if I wanted. No, it's this one. Did we forget the no we did that guy, right? Yep. What did he do? Who did he attack? Where's four? He's only rolled a die once, right? He attacked you. Oh, oh, yeah, because he came in this round. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. And then you rolled that. I keep thinking he was out last round, but he did. Okay, I have the extra Ooh. deck, so I'm going to use Under the Old Zelfie. Stanza will get one buff HP if you can add. A oh, red. Add me a red. Okay, so that was three decks. I have my defense, so then I just need to roll and my three. And three focus out of five, or four you have? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Maybe you can That's tune right. it up. Well, I may not need them all next time, and then I can just vamp them, but... All right, so Two, I hit him four. for four. That's oh, enough. Thank Perfect. God. Kill it. Perfect. Okay. So now he's not going to be going away and coming back. That's what I was worried about. All those all those uh, squids there, fish tentacles all killed. Uh, okay. And blue has uh, got somebody to attack. So he's going to roll two attack like and a, two defense. Uh, hardy. So three, def three attack is reduced down to one. And I have, and one, have one defense. Three defense. Perfect. So I don't take any damage, so I don't uh, go up in the rage counter. Yeah. Right. What? Is Hardy reduce only the damage you take down to one, or all of the attack down to one, and even when it hits the shield? That, I forget. It's been a bit. Let's find out. So what was the question? You want to hit your shield? What are you talking about? Like, Hardy, any turn this unit takes damage to its HP... Including true damage is reduced to one. So it's three attack. You block one of it. Two gets through, but that gets reduced down to one. Okay. So you Same still take outcome. a damage. So you lose it from And it's true damage. Uh, no, no. Sorry. It's not true damage. Uh, oh, but you're buff too. Yeah. So you can... To its HP. Not buff HP. So you actually lose two buff HP and, and a thing. What? To one. Hardy reduces the HP you lose, but it doesn't reduce the amount hitting your defense and your buff HP first. Right, George? I'm pretty sure... Any turn this unit takes damage to its HP, including true damage, total is reduced to one. So three was what he rolled. I it, blocked one with it my blocked defense. one with defense. Two keeps coming at you. I think it has to go to buff HP. So nothing actually gets to your HP, so that Hardy doesn't even come into play. Oh, that's silly. I think. It is silly. Uh, yes, Hardy was not a good idea because of the buff HP. Yeah. Yeah, oops. Lesson learned, but I think we still Don't worry, have just this. use your uh, trove loot you kept that you can roll the back of hand to <laughs> unexhaust the die. You idiots. No, I'm just joking. Okay. So block one with shield, two goes to buff HP. Yes, I, that's what I thought. I knew it was like a little fishy with that. Okay. That's fine. We're learning. It's Cripp only our first time playing too many bones, so we're just we're figuring this out. <laughs> Cripple's coming next. <laughs> okay, so that was that guy. Uh, this one here. Yeah. yeah. Did he, he roll any defense on himself? Yep. Yeah. It's right there for you. Two. Oh, this is what he rolled, right? Yeah, yeah sorry. Well, I, thought like, you were I got on a side off. tangent. I was like, whoops. <laughs> I could tell. I just see a whole bunch of dice. I'm like, I don't know what goes where. All right. Uh, so that's the end of the round. Nobody to come in the queue. Round, round three. three. He's going to bleed. Barnacle. Bleed one. That's right. Uh, one attack, one defense, tyrant die on uh, strongest stanza. Ooh, so who's the strongest closest to a tentacle? So Justin. Hold on. Target the strongest opposing unit adjacent to a tentacle. Justin. Where do we want to put him in the water? We can put him anywhere. Any one, five, four, six. Where well, do you want to go? One or five, right? One. one? Okay. Yeah. One it is. So okay. I can come back out. Uh, and defense. And he hits you for one, knocking away your defense. Defense, diet. yeah. And let's just shift all these guys down. Tantrum. Cool. Two decks. Two decks to move out. Okay. You so have got four, four decks. Left. Four decks left. What are you doing to this guy over here? Uh, Who's got cripple. two defense and five health still? I'm a cripple. Okay. And uh, three attacks. So I think your hardy thing gets exhausted at the start of your turn. I'm okay. pretty sure. Sure. Well, why are you crippling him? So he doesn't He doesn't think he's going to get seven hit on him. No, mm -hmm. yeah. So he'll stop, to, uh, stop an attack. If he's not going to kill him, 
you he was trying to nerf the damage he's taking back. Okay, Unless you I'm can just, kill him. No, I'm just saying you're rolling less die to then prevent... Yeah, but then next he'll have full dice anyway and he'll have taken one less hit. Okay, yeah. sure. It's just a gamble. It's, it's We're playing I'm a game saying, chucking you have on dice. The, you have buff HP. Only two. And, and I have heal just stuff. Just let him okay. do what he I'm wants just to do. Curious, it just, just maybe let him not have some fun. <laughs> Like well, we're we're so in control. I'm not gonna like so we're, minus one. We're not no, minus we're not playing like a campaign that's seven episodes long that I'm worried about like this losing. Is infinite. Yeah, that is true. You, can just put you this got it. You got this minus one right here. Yeah, this yeah. minus one. Yeah, you got yeah, that. Yeah, you got yeah. that. Can you find me? Is it this? All right. One? Oh, you just put that on there. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna take the bone. It's three <laughs> three damage. All right. So right. lose two and does one. Oh, I'm he's gonna... now not at full health. Uh oh, he could get pulled off the mat. Uh oh. I'm gonna throw two. Throw an axe. Kill this guy before. Throw axe over here. So one damage here and one. Okay. That's it. Duster. Oh, we forgot the wolf. Oh, wolf time. Wolf would have been first. Oh, before me? We forgot the wolf. But he comes adjacent to you, right? No, no, no any wants. melee position. Oh. So I definitely would have thrown him here. Uh oh. You uh, still would have been the strongest. Definitely. The uh, I would have just stuff. rolled two attack dice against uh, that guy. Three. So. Now, hold on. He had shields from his turn, so he had two just shield. rewind. So he had two shields. Either way, it all totals, whatever. Okay. So I did three damage. So it's down to one. Okay. Because either way, uh, yeah, because I knocked away. I would have hit the defense. He probably would have not done the nerf thing yeah. and would have. Yeah, like I, I said, but that's. But right. we didn't know. But you were going on different information, so <laughs> yeah. either way, I know. Sorry, you're but, wrong. It's fine. No, I think I'm still yeah. right. So, anyways, uh, that guy's down to one. <laughs> uh, Duster, kill this guy now. Just kill him. Kill this guy? No, this guy. Kill, <laughs> kill, kill, kill Barnacle. Guy. Kill the Barnacle. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I want to leave this guy on the board because I want to see Barnacle uh, maybe pull it off the no. mat and do all this crazy no. shenanigans. I want you to kill Barnacle. I've never seen him live that long. Uh, okay, so Vibro Blade. Uh, I'll throw that in there. Three attack. I uh, have six decks. Uh, let's reroll a defense. And sure. Okay, oh, sorry. so Barnacle. Vibro Blade misses. Whoa. Bone City. Well, that's uh, good. That is good. That's your fortune discovery. I could cry wolf. Fortune discovery. No, no, not yet. Uh, I could, yeah, but... Yeah, you have that red bone. It's... Yeah. We don't need... Like, what really do we I need? Know. All we this extra stuff? We don't stuff? need anything. Uh, so I get one defense. I'll hit him for one. Oh, just... I don't want him to stay around. Yeah, but I still get to go. Kill him. Uh, I could do pack mentality to run to the other side of the board. Pull pull, pull this guy away from you. That uh, doesn't matter. It's Work it. Okay, oh, yeah, it stands up. Okay. I'm going to, now that that poison guy's gone, I'm going to exhaust this die. I don't need that anymore. Okay. Uh, yeah, advance or vamp. Just looking. Or exhaust. Uh, could keep them going. You have four focus, so you could go to side two on both of I'm them. I'm going to vamp this one. Okay. Because that will heal everybody vamp, one. Uh, under, the, under the old Zelfie. Yes. Um, what are we healing? I don't have any damage. I have one. No, you don't, do you? Oh, you heal do. the whole heal the whole raft. Do you have a no? Okay. Okay, so we're Better just gonna. I got the revive one. party revive. So party if any revive. of us die, we come back at the end of the round with one HP. I got a double revive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then we're so close to losing, guys. So that was only one dex. Oh, it was on I purpose. will then roll. Barnacle is a wuss. Three and one. He's squishy. Three, four, five. He needs to be rolling like three attack dice. That's the only the way this yeah this One, is two, too three, four, too five. easy. I've never ever had a problem with this on any player account. Okay. On legendary, on it, it doesn't matter. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're rolling, rolling on this noob. guy. And I hit him for four, and I kill him. Good. Barnacle is dead, One, two, and you get three, a defense. Four. You uh, could not uh, apply all of it and then leave him. In no, the we are mat. still gonna clear the this guy. Yeah, his wolf so is... normally it would end there. Anyone watching who doesn't know too many bones, you just have to kill the tyrant unless there's rules that say otherwise. But we're going to try to clear the whole queue, which is this guy sitting <laughs> here one. rolling one attack die. Oh, and had you rolled that one attack die, that guy yeah, would be yeah. dead. That's all good. Misinformation. So uh, Barnacle oh. is gone. And that is gone. Brown. So uh, last is this guy who has the targets. He's going for the strongest. Two defense, one attack. Thanks to him being nerfed. Yeah, because Justin welcome. needs all that attack. Oh, look at this. Two, two, two. Boop, 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 boop. All right. My buff HP. I'll... <laughs> oh. He might not die. Suck away your buff HP. Yeah, oh. he's got I might be able to kill him. <laughs> Maybe. Hey, hey. The wolf roll is all attacking. Your attack die this time. End of the round. The wolf is Nobody attacking. Nobody coming in. First. Round four. Wolfie, wolfie. Nightshade. 
Night Shade. I'm getting ready. Yeah, let's just do two attack dice. Um, I won't apply it. Oh, no. Really? <laughs> no, I will. <laughs> <laughs> so he needs Tantrum. five to die? Uh, uh, three. Three only. All right. You can do it. I'm going to pop my backup or my rage thing to give myself four so I can get more axes. Whatever. You, <laughs> I don't need it. You're beating Jason anyway. You just need to roll three. You got, uh, there you go. You got six. Do you, you're going to apply it? Yes. <laughs> yeah. So I'm it's dead. Throw, we gonna, win. And I'm going to throw axes at Mel uh -huh. for her sly comments. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. All look, right. Look at all that buff HP I still had. That's because so, <laughs> nobody wants to fight that you. That is Barnacle. That wasn't too bad. Yeah, we smoked that. I mean, there was like that one gorilla mountain or a mole or a hill, but that's meant to be like super hard. Obviously, I think we could have. I think we could have beaten it. Maybe I don't know. Yeah. Oops. Let's pick it. Yeah. yeah, that was the playthrough. Thank you, everyone that hung out with us through that. I appreciate it. George, thanks for showing back up. Uh, Bernardo, thanks for saying hi. John too. Uh, yeah, Beol, if you're still there and you're you made it home safe and okay, oh, or yes. if you crashed in a ditch watching our stream on your way home from work, uh, you're right, George. I, I hope you didn't. But those three uh, training points were necessary. Barnacle is a very easy tire fight. Yeah, yeah. I, I've never had an issue. I don't see how. Yeah. Oh, Jay's here. Thanks for the content. It was fun. Hey, Jay, how's it going? Thanks. Um, but yeah, look forward to uh, this week. Uh, I hopefully will get. Uh, I haven't seen any shipping notice yet, but supposedly uh, the expansion packs for Marvel Champions, the three expansion packs, should be on their way to me. But they have to come from the U.S. cross the border, I'm pretty sure. I don't think they're coming from a Canada warehouse. Uh, but I should get them hopefully this week coming up. So hopefully I'll have that before release, if not by release. Mule is here. I'm here. It takes f me five minutes to get home. I live one mile from work. Oh, okay. you're lucky. Ooh. That's awesome. I have to walk all the way down my stairs to get to my basement to work. It's super annoying. Uh, just That's kidding. cardio, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, right? I have to walk down my stairs. Oh, it's rough. Holding a coffee yeah, at the hold, same I have time. to hold a coffee while going down two flights of stairs. Oh, man. Uh, but anyways, just joking. Um, but yeah, so uh, we should have those packs, but no promises. But hopefully we'll have some Marvel Champions in the week. I might even do a stream before those get here just to try Black Panther again. Just to get excited. Yep. Uh, Dark Souls. Hopefully I get my expansions, still haven't oh. got them yet. But I did buy the yeah. tile pack. I found that at a store in Canada. So I got the uh, tiles for Iron Keep and Dark Root Basin. I wish I had put on my Kickstarter. I didn't know they were separate. So I might just play Dark Souls this week. If... But you don't have the tiles yet, do you? Yeah, I got them. Oh, you already yep, got them? Yeah, I got okay. the tiles. So I could I'm play so Dark Souls. Pumped. I could play some Dark Souls just playing with the, the core stuff, which kind of sucks. I still don't have the, the Wave 3 yet. Um, but I have some other games I'm working on learning and trying to play. So stay tuned. We're going to do more live streams during the week. We're continuing our Tainted Grail progress. Uh, we're playing some Tainted Grail. Uh, should have a new episode up early in the week. Hopefully, we might be playing that tomorrow. Anyways, thanks a lot for tuning in. Thanks to our Patreon backers. Thanks to everyone who donated to get Undertow on the channel uh, through our fundraiser. If you want to donate uh, through PayPal or uh, Patreon, whichever one you prefer. Uh, if you like the work we do and you want to help support the channel, help us grow, it goes back in the channel. You can donate. There's links down below. Also, follow the social media. Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Links are all in the description below. Uh, if you want to not miss when we go live, the best way is to subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you're watching this later, uh, feel free to leave comments below too if you're watching later. Thanks everyone who hung out in the chat. Now that you've finished the playthrough, I'll be taking my Tainted Grail and head to play with some friends later. Awesome, nice. Bill. Awesome, yes. We're going to play some nice. Tainted Grail tomorrow. Uh, and record it, so hopefully our next episode will be up uh, early in the week. I want to say uh, thanks to George for yes. having my back. <laughs> yeah, yep. Giving me all the tips. Thanks for being here live, George, with us to help Justin, uh, help all of us convince him. Really just Justin. Dex is the way. He's been saying the same thing to you forever. You're not getting What's it. What's forever? That's such a like weird time frame. That's really doesn't really balance. Anyways, thanks a lot for being here. Uh, good night, and, and have a good rest of your day, everybody, For and thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.